This is the old 77 podcast. Hey, bitch. You're so listening to the old 77 podcast. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Francis is stewing over here. He's like, how oh, can you hate the fucking Irish? He's over there typing. My name is literally Francis. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, Francis. <laughs> Which, what's, what's your... We can, we can trace my family back. We drove the snakes out. <laughs> oh, who are you? Turn it up. Let it blast. Hey, bitches. This is Old 77 Podcast. It's a safe place. In an unsafe world. Impressive. Warning. Foul language may occur due to the subject matter. Oh, oh my God. Join our Patreon Clubhouse today. Clubhouse members get early access to episodes and exclusive after-hours content at patreon.com slash the old 77 podcast. Yeah, boy. Thanks for listening. Cool. I hope it's a naked dude with a boner. From the old 77 studios in Jefferson City, Missouri. This is the old 77. It's a safe place, Scott. In an unsafe world, Matt. World, 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 world. <laughs> People but light. Huh. People. <laughs> oh, my God. That's totally Pe- it with the music. People but light. J-Lo. Yeah. Yo, J-Lo. Ah, yeah. oh, it's good to be back. Yeah, man. Uh, Dave is in Colorado. Dave is enjoying the uh, frosty shores of Colorado. So, so Scott and I are riding... This is like old this is school, it, man. Right? This yeah. is like the first couple episodes, Scott. One through four, I believe. Oh, well, today was so interesting at work because we had like a wing day. And it was <laughs> See, like in video honor of too, the so. NCAA tournament. And so we had Red like a war. contest. Yeah. Right. There was a contest. There were six uh, six, uh, six different types of wings. Is that how many there were? From all of these contestants. But also, work brought in wings to go. Or was it wing stop? It's we had wing, wing stop. stop. Yeah, it was wing stop. Oh man, they were fantastic too, dude. And they were very good. I wasn't expecting wing stop to be so good. I wasn't either. And they're cheaper than Buffalo Wild Wings, which I was glad. Yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't pay for it, but right. But still, I, it's, it's cool to know that there's still. another option in town besides B Dubs. We, we have so many options for so many things, like beer, food related. Right. You know? Yeah. But anyway, so we to get to it, um, like our friend T.O., um, he is a big fan of Hot Ones. It's a show on YouTube. It's hosted by Sean Evans, and it's been going on for the last five, six years, right? He's been doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, it goes back, and there's so many episodes, so many episodes. I mean, you always have something to watch with Hot Ones. But, like, the thing is with Hot Ones is there there is, like, ten different sauces and what they right. do is they have they have these celebrities on. Sean asks questions as they're eating these these hot wings, and then you have like a totally different reaction. Oh man! Some of them can't even answer the question because well, some of the questions are so relentless. Their though. their mouths are on fire. Right. So uh, we whipped out the box of so Tio ordered a giant box set of the hot sauces from Hot Ones. So there's now get let me get this straight. So there's ten. 10 different hot sauces, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, ranging from like mild to extremely hot as hell. So you have the uh, classic hot sauce. Right. Here we go. Um, and uh, it's it, it's pretty much like, it's kind of, it's it's mild, but it's hot. That's the line. Now, is that from left to right? It, it's, or? it's something that you could actually eat on hot wings. It, now, the, left to right is what happens. Is the order so so from here to here, correct? Correct, yeah, holy cow, left to right. Um, pretty sure that one. So, which one is the bomb? Which one did I watch you guys? Okay, the bomb is this one here. Is that the one with the fist punch? It has the atomic bomb on it. Oh, it's got the bomb on it. Oh, my god, let me go see what's it's not even. It's the third hottest, it's not even the hottest one there is. So, I don't know what chu means, but it's a hundred, it's 135,600 chu. That's Scoville units, that's how they register heat. Okay, so I put that in my mouth today. It's red hot chili peppers, water, vinegar, salt, spices, including paprika and spices. turmeric, uh, minced garlic, uh, cane sugar, garlic powder. What may- cilantro, mint, dude? Boy, I couldn't taste all that when I smelt it. Let me just say, it smelt like straight chemicals. It's got to be the red hot chili peppers, though. Maybe it's whatever they pickle the if they pickle the peppers. Maybe it's something in that because it smelt. It smelled chemically. 
Maybe it's the uh, whatever they're using to keep it. I feel like it's something you would put on your like, it, 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 like if you had something that you needed to take off metal, or it would just eat the metal, stripping the rust. Shit. Yeah, it would strip the rust off oh. your 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 uh, bumper. Clean an engine with it. But honestly, like, and eat your chicken. It's amazing what you can do with peppers and spices to oh, make a man. sauce, because that shit was awful. <laughs> It was the hottest thing that I ever ate, man. I am not playing. This no. shit, like, it was... We got a little proof, It too. was obtrusive. Obtrusive? Like, that's what a... <laughs> it was belligerent. Like, fuck you in your mouth. Like, I literally I felt... I can't wait to hear the yeah. podcast come out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here, you can see it. I do have a wireless system, yeah. <laughs> Dude, chicken it out. <laughs> he ain't doing it. Oh, I get it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> he ain't doing it. That's talking about our buddy Nichols. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, there, there, you go. Go. there you go. Here it is. So this is the bomb that we were this talking about. This is the bomb. About. Okay. Yeah. This is the bomb. I right, sitting there thinking about it for a minute. Right? Got to sit there and think. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait for it. <laughs> wait for oh, it. there it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Feel the heat. <laughs> oh, God. That oh, yeah. was so disgusting. And I went. Yeah, and I went back for more. Anyway, yeah, he finished it off, man. Way to be a trooper. Yeah. Our friend Tom Bowman is talking shit. Yeah. So there he is chugging it down. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, this, now this is the very. Yeah. So that's that's it. Uh, looping that was, over. Did yeah. you get the last one though? The no, very I last. didn't get the very last. Okay. One. So there were. <clears throat> excuse me. The last one, dude. I feel like the last one was worse than the bomb. Really? It had the dab. More... You guys did the dab. So right? the dab. Yeah. So it was. Oh, um, oh my It was T O Nate. I think Tom did it, and also yeah, yeah. I think Nichols. No, Nichols chicken chickened out. Someone else did it with you. So man. the bomb. So um, the last one was called the the last dab Apollo. Let's see. Can you pull it up? Um, yeah, it's right here. There we go. All um, right. the ch the chu t it's TBA. So I mean, it's fucking. It's in the stratosphere of how oh, yeah. hot it is. So this is like what two million Scoville units. But the shit? Apollo pepper distilled vinegar. Um, oh, the the, Apo the Apollo pepper powder Ugh. and the Apollo pepper distill. So, I mean, like... Oh, shit, it's pepper on pepper on pepper on pepper. I don't know what the fuck the Apollo pepper is. I didn't know there was such a thing. <laughs> Dude, like, I was in pain. Like, so oh, I believe it. When I ate this, when I ate this wing, like, the, the top part of my mouth, underneath my tongue, the sides of my mouth... My yeah. tongue was literally numb, dude, for like 20 minutes. Oh, I believe it. And I was wondering to myself, like, when the fuck is the the, the effects of this going to like right. wear off? That's what I was waiting for. You guys to all oh, run dude, to the Oh, dude, it was brutal. It was brutal. Honestly, like, at least I know what I'm looking... At least I know what to expect now if we do a, wings, a Wangs challenge. Here. So, that's a good point. We actually talked about this. How do you feel about this mm. as our listeners? Give us a little feedback yeah. if you would. We want to do a Hot Wangs challenge. Yeah. It'll be a Old 77 presents the Hot Wangs trivia challenge. Mm -hmm. We get hot wings, we do just that, and we ask 10 trivia questions. And we invite some of our friends of the show. That's right. I think T.O. would be a great one to come. Oh, yeah. T.O. would definitely come. Bring that box, T.O. Yeah. We do that. Bring the box. Um, there's plenty of sauce in there. Like, oh you can't God. eat all that sauce. For one, we'll like, throw some coin your way. So the other sauces were pretty good. Yeah. Like, you could actually put it on like chicken the, or... The, the one some, through five sauces, you mean? The one through five. The only one, the only two that were bad were the bomb and the Apollo. Oh, all right. They were the only two that really did some significant damage. <laughs> I'm serious. So after the bomb, did you just not care um, how bad the next one was? I couldn't really... Um, I, I really just wanted to finish the job. Yeah. That's what I feel I like. I wanted you're to finish in, what I started. You're in go mode at that point. Because once you do the bomb, Oof. I felt like you could do anything, and then I ate the Apollo, and I was sorry. Yeah. Because I was like, that, 
I thought that it was it was way there was way more heat involved than <laughs> than the bomb. I mean, at first you get like a little sweetness, and then yeah. right after that, like instant sweetness, you're dead. Ugh. Your mouth is on fire. That's why I hate sweet and shit. You literally man. feel like I I literally felt like I swallowed fucking lava. It was it was a sh- like I said, I felt like Satan's asshole. <laughs> I just ate his ass, right? And he took a fart in my mouth. Oh. It was bad. You ate it in chicken oh, form. So look at T.O. just fucking I know. Grinning. He's like, look, this was nothing. You little fuck. Like, like you were struggling. I know Nate was struggling at the end. T.O. Oh, could have put more hot sauce on it, to It be was fair. fucking brutal, man. And Tom's like, yeah, go, go, yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, he was fucking rooting you on. Fucking cheerleader on the <laughs> sideline. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thanks, man. Thanks. Oh, but yeah, I saw you over there. You're like, look at me like. I was like, oh, are you, you going to be, be okay? okay for tonight, man? <laughs> I was like. You gonna be okay, man? Do I have to do a singled out I hope seventy seven episode? God, I hope not. Me and the bottle of aviation here. <laughs> Sponsored by Ronald Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds. R- no, yeah. I like Ronald Reynolds. <laughs> Ronald Reynolds, his brother. Ronald Ryan's. He's the one who has Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck shit. Ra- ra- Fuck shit, pussy, drink this. <laughs> Wait, are you telling me? Or oh, okay, all right. Oh man, but yeah, that that was. I'm glad we did that. I had a lot of fun. That's I did, funny, man. I can't even imagine drinking like I drank lemonade, and I also drank this like spritzer lemonade I was blueberry say, stuff. Man, at one point, I was like, "Hey, dude, you want some milk?" You're like, "No, I got I got lemonade." I'm like, oh yeah, because Nate was like, "Drink this spritzer stuff," and so like I got one. Don't do that. And it actually worked. Really? Yeah. I can't imagine like drinking with beer though. No. Beer would be the like, worst Man, thing. Man, dude, because do you get life. it down there and then the beer sits down there and it just festers and talks together. And, ugh. God. So, anyway, a box. Nice. So, a 10 pack. Actually, there's different seasons to hot ones. So, the hot the hot also, ones, uh, 10 pack season, season 17. Oh. It's $120. So, they're very. Uh, okay. All right. But there it is. There's the collection right there. Now, that was also what was really good was the, uh, the 13 Angry. Scorpions, is that that was one of them? that was pretty good. That was like there was no really great lead up to the bomb. Um, they're all right. spicy, but they all have like flavor. One's like I'm trying to find the scorpion one. The cause... scorpion is right to, to the left to the bomb. Oh, so it's the one with the fist. Yeah, all right. it's actually a scorpion. If you like, yeah, oh, man, it's actually a scorpion. It's a black scorpion on all like right. a red. Oh, okay. I kind of get where they're going with it now. But uh, that one had like kinda hard to see from here. It was more like it was thicker. It had like more of a barbecue sauce texture to it. All right. Uh, more of like a KC type thickness to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, man. Wow. But it was like spicy and it had like a maple, like it had like a maple kind of. Sp- it was spicy, but it wasn't right. like blowing it was your head sweet, off. Sweet, spicy. But, See, uh, that's what I don't like about sweet and savory stuff, man, because it's so easy mm-hmm. to hide the spice in that sweet. But, like, really, there's no sauce before the bomb that really is a stepping stone to it. So it's literally the bomb. It's l- literally they just like. drop it on you. It's like, you know, you, know, you go cliff jumping, you, you jump <laughs> off like 10 feet, and then you just directly go to a 50 foot jump. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, man. Like, it's extreme. It's, it, there's an extreme difference between the first, was it seven? Yeah, first seven, mm-hmm. and then you go to the bomb and you fucking blow your head off. Fuck that. So I I, I didn't even try number nine because I was like, fuck it, just give me the Apollo. You know, man, just to, uh, based off of his reaction today, off of all of the hot shit that To ate, I just imagine his porcelain weeps at home at night. Oh man, just you know, like Bernice, the the big chick from dodgeball you know when she got caught <laughs> <laughs> right right yeah. his, his toilet just cries like that every night it has tears running down right just sweating toilet I, see sweating. i i think to is just he he's just used to it and i think yeah uh, and i think your body just becomes like oh. so so uh so uh mechanically fucking like engineered for it it's, i guess that's it if, if that's what you've like started out like if that's the fuel you've started on you're probably okay you know because i'm looking over at him and i'm i'm fucking dying and he's just like <laughs> just another day right he was he was no problem man <laughs> bastard <I know. laughs> fuck you to <laughs> motherfucker but yeah i think we should do the hot wings challenge Get some hot wings. Yeah, I think it'd be great, but uh, that's what happened today uh, at our work. That was probably the bu- busiest thing we had but going yeah, on. Yeah, that was so. the coolest thing that happened today. Minus uh, we're doing a podcast. Right. Now. I'm glad you had footage of uh, us. Yeah, we got a little bit of something. 
of all of us doing the wing, the wing contest. Yeah. Yeah, and then they shot some footage at work, and we put a little something together too. I think that'll come out tomorrow. Oh, so you hey, you were talking about that uh, the Hugh Hefner Playboy Mansion mm. documentary that, that that's on uh, which channel? I think it's A and E. Was it A and E? It was a so. streaming thing, right? Yeah, yeah, you can get it. Well, we I still have Dish Network, so it's it's a part of our package. So there are a lot of girls from back in the day uh, that were talking about how Hugh like maybe right. took advantage of them, and he would also like. Have cameras everywhere, all over the mansion. Uh, he would like blackmail a lot of people. Yeah, that's the worst part. He'd have shit on him. He'd film you while he was plowing. Well, think about you. this: like you'd have the mayor over. Mayor's plowing some chick who's not his wife. Right. And he guess what? Hugh's got it Hugh's on you. He's got it. Yeah. So guess what? Hugh's getting out of a lot of shit. Or he's getting a lot of shit past. You know. He's like that dude behind the scenes, like that mm-hmm. guy who's controlling, pulling strings in the political hey, world. Hey, Mayor, could we not be doing right. this, or could we not doing that? Hey, you remember that time you came over to the grotto? Because he has all kinds of shit on you. Right. So anyway, um, the latest, so there are like multiple generations of girls coming out and saying certain things. Because Hugh's been around for, he was around for, what, 60 years, whatever? Dude, but, the early I mean, ones, he, he was the original OG of it right. all. And so there's like certain, like women from all generations... He's banging all kinds of girls who are, you know, different age groups. He's um, getting his half on, that's for he sure. He did get his half on. Uh, so the one girl, her name's Carissa Shannon, she claims that she aborted his baby um, and sex was like rape with him. I have oh, some audio man. here, Scotty, of her saying this stuff. Which Is she the blonde there next to him? I believe she's the one that's picked out here, yeah. So uh, let me, uh, We can't see that. Let me play some of this audio here. Former Playboy playmate Carissa go. Shannon claims she is happy she aborted her unborn child with Hugh Hefner, alleging that having sex with the late media mogul was like rape. Okay. Well, those titties ain't paying for themselves. No. He paid for them titties. Right. You know I felt did. disgusted with my body, the now 32-year-old oh, said on Monday's episode of A&D's docuseries, Secrets of Playboy, according to People. So is that what you're watching right now? Or is that no, a difference? That's, that's not this. I mean, yeah, just this is something completely. Oh, I mean, it, that may be. You can go back. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Okay. I was looking at the the whole overall, and I'm like, no, this isn't it. I felt disgusted with my body. The now 32 year old said on Monday's episode. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's a commercial. Episode A and D's docu series. <laughs> yes. Secrets of Playboy. Yeah, according that's it. to people. Yeah, that's that's okay. the series they're referencing. Come on. Oh my God, I sl- felt like there was something like oh, I hate these. an alien inside me. That's a big old fucking out. half. Thing I just play. wanted to get it over with. Oh, there, man. Oh shit! She said there was like an alien inside of her. Well, of course, she's like probably she- never been pregnant. God. Hugh pumped something in the temple. Look, I get it. Like, if you want to have an oh, abortion again with the food. because you got raped, then you know what? I think maybe like I- I'm a guy, so I have no right to tell a woman what to do with her body. Amen. Um. That's how I feel. I'm I'm not look, if I am not for abortion, I'm not. But if it's if if there are some cases where the it, it I certain think it, things I have think it to happen. It depends on the woman's perspective, you know. It has to I think it has to really do with the situation. So anyway, let's keep I, I think that. forced birth is not never it should never be an option. If 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 it's early enough and you caught it, and you're in a bad situation, dude. You got raped, or something happened to where you you cannot do this. Then yes, you know, definitely, definitely think about it, and maybe even go through with it. But uh, like, I get, I'm a guy, so I have no kind of like say on what you should do with your body. For all of our female listeners out there, like all 32 percent of you, yes, out there. So. I mean, but who's counting? So here's more of that. <laughs> she this this thing's like running slow for some reason. Oh, are we? No, not the computer. This fucking oh, lady the vi- reading oh, the oh. fucking story. No, man, it's a uh, it's a computer generated Lifetime. story. So the other day on TikTok. <laughs> so here's more of it. The music. Shannon, uh. who allegedly found out she was pregnant when Shannon! she was 19 and Hefner was 84, claimed that every time she had sex with him, she considered it assault. Oh, please. oh. He's not even that big of a guy, right? Like, now see on that one, I don't know. See, I don't know who to believe on that one because Hugh's not here anymore. He can't defend himself. But at the same time, yeah, I, I mean, I'd have to hear more. Like, cause she did she willfully have sex with him, or did he like roll up, strap her down, and you know, like, 
impregnator. Right. Yeah. Like, like, what's the story there? And like, he has a type, and they're they're oh, they're really? blonde I mean, and they're, they're blue all on eyes. The screen. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, she has platinum hair. Right. You know. I wonder if that's afterwards, if she did that to get rid of the look. Oh, she probably did. You know? Yeah. It's like rape, she said. He used control mechanisms completely through everything, so I'm happy that I had the abortion. Damn. I wonder if he knew. The model and her sister, Christina Shannon, were famously known as the Playboy Twins. Yeah, the Shannons. Okay. They were recruited for Playboy when they were 18, and claimed on the A&D series that they naively thought, hell no, in regards to Hefner sleeping with, all, these women. So like, when so I'm going to end this because this thing's running really slow, the, the story anyway, not to yeah, yeah, I'm with you, I'm with you. But like, this so the, anyway. the twins, when they turned 19, like they said that Hugh was, exp- like Hugh just came into the room and he's like, well, you can have sex with me or not. Yeah, that's, yeah, I'd heard that. <laughs> like when they got legal, he was like, we're fucking now, right? <laughs> Honestly, like he's housing all these women. I, f- I feel like he, he's running a brothel, though, he at felt, that point. He right? felt like he was entitled to what he needed. You know, like anything that he wanted, he felt entitled to get because he was giving them a home, he was giving them a career. See, what nobody remembers, and I'm not sticking up for him. No, I know, I know. You know, what nobody remembers is Playboy After Dark. Do you remember that really short lived black and white show that Hugh Hefner hosted? Oh, I do remember that. I think yeah. it was on the national TV scene, man. So, like, after. Back in the day, it would have been after, like, I don't know, The Tonight Show. Here's Playboy After Dark. And you'd go into this, like, penthouse apartment, and he'd be smoking in his pajamas, right? And everybody's having a great time, and girls are walking around. They're slapping him on the ass. I mean, it's literally like the cast of Mad Men. You know? That's that's what they wanted. The dude was the master. The girls were all subservient. You know? That was a whole different generation. Well, they, like... So Playboy After Dark, they had all kinds of people on there. They had yep. James Brown. They had Sa- uh, Sammy Davis oh, Jr. Even. was on nice. there, dude. It was in color. Nice. Um, let's see here. Uh, Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce <laughs> was in play uh, when he was in Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion in 1959. 59. Wow. Wow, yeah. wow that goes. That back. was the penthouse. That's so. Yeah, that's even before After Dark. Here's the. Uh, here's some audio to it. I'm, I'm not sure if we're getting a commercial here, but come on. Look at these motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. This... Right. Sammy Davis, just... <laughs> Who's that? Fucking Wesley Snipes? <laughs> I'm joking. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> so, I, I don't... But this just looks like a good time. Like, you want to be part of this, right? Mm. Like, this is the, the glamorous life. Right, but then look at the girl. They're all smoking. A low cut in the front, right? Low cut in the back? Low cut the front, then the back? What held it up? Never mind. <laughs> now, narrow waist and wide hips, right? Uh. Wide waist and narrow hips? <laughs> About even? What did you have? No. She sat next to you. All those empty... Uh, must be a... What, what happened then? Yeah, keep going. Right? <laughs> I don't know what's she going on. He looks familiar, but he looks like a comedian. And then got... <gasps> Is that Julie true? Andrews? And bring tea. No, it's not. No. Was this on national TV, this I show? I think so, man. Okay. Like, because they didn't have their own channels back in the day. No. You know, this would have been like after The Tonight Show, you know, two yeah. or three in the morning. Conan slot. And here comes Hugh Hefner. Yeah, you know, probably they signed off probably at midnight. This aired from 1130 to, you know, probably midnight. So this one has a... Uh, National Anthem uh, plays after this, and then you got the Indian all night long. James Brown here. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to get to the part where James is on. Oh, so it's an hour-long show. Nice. Come on, where's James at? Name of that was who was that on? <laughs> How are you having... James? There she is. There. Are you having a good time, James? <laughs> oh, stop a bitch. Oh, nah. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta fly back to Hot Atlanta. Hugh Hamner in the hell. Give me some time. <laughs> so here's like the whole intro to it and all. Yeah. Yeah. Soupy sales. Oh, it has that like old classic. Three hey, dog, baby, it's three Frank dog Sinatra. night tonight. Clay Tyson, you sons of bitches. Marva Whitney. Special guest. 
Whoever the fuck I want. Frank I'm Sinatra. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Davis. Coming up to the pen. Oh, yeah, you rode up the elevator. That's right. Look at this shit. Look, it just opens up and you're at the party, man. Hey, who's fucking tonight? Right. All of them. <laughs> this is from 1968. Jack, how are you? Wow. Hey, Can you imagine hey, being alive hey, in the 60s? Hey, look, look, look at this. Look hey. at Hugh right there. Hey. Hey. Wow. Not look at underwear. him. <laughs> so young. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, have I missed anything? Well, no, not really. We were waiting for you. Oh. oh. And also for you. I'm glad you could join us. I'm your Where's host. James at, though? I want to see James. Jack Carter. This is Georgia. Uh, Oh, oh, hey, Georgia. <laughs> who, who else is here? Well, Soupy Sales. James here. Brown! Soupy Sales. There he is. <laughs> you met uh, the Three Dog Night here? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Three Dog oh, Night? Oh, damn. Wait. James, James oh, yeah, Brown. Oh, damn. Wow. I hate I all you boys. Of, uh, the things you guys do, but uh, I noticed that on the record you seem to do almost every uh, cut in a different style. Well, we come from oh, and he interviews. Music, so wow, kind of that's cool. That I had a different background, sort of an R&B. Interviewing him at the bar. And, you know. <laughs> so, kind of Excuse me? Who's the soul brother? <laughs> Who's the soul brother? <laughs> Who's the soul so you, brother? Got, you have uh, <laughs> James Brown, you have Three Dog Night at, a bo- at this bar at the Playboy yeah. Mansion. Just, and he's doing the interviews. Just hanging out. And the out. girls are just hanging out. Right. Well, that's, that's the way they want you to think. Crazy, at least, you right? Know? Right. But yeah, I mean, all those girls are there for you know their looks. Golly, man, that's crazy. That they- look, every one of those girls are eye candy. That's the only reason they're there. Everybody knew Hef, right? Everybody, Everybody knew Hef. Everybody wanted to know Hef. Everybody wanted to be cool with Hef. He, if anyone had the most control in Hollywood, I if that was Soupy Sales. If if anyone had the most control in the Hollywood area, Hollywood Hills. It was Hef, dude. I don't know if he had a lot of control, but he definitely had a lot of influence. But people wanted to be in with him because of oh, the yeah. parties. Oh, he the, probably knew the whole lifestyle. Several man. people in government there, local government. A whole lifestyle. Who didn't want to be in the the Hugh Hefner role? Hef was that dude that everyone wanted to be cool with. Dude literally got up in the morning in his pajamas and went to bed at night in his pajamas and never changed. Honestly, I mean, maybe he did like a, you know, like a maybe a front. Like one of those, like uh, edit the editor's like uh, the editor's story, like in the beginning of the magazine, right? But like it was a page. Like he's not doing stories anymore. No, because like, Playboy was cool back in the day. It was like doing. It was actually like a real magazine. Yeah, I mean the art. Actually, I hate to be that guy, but the articles were fantastic in Playboy right? back it in was, the day. It was good, like right, it was entertaining good, journalism. It was good writing. I don't know if I'd call it journalism. Them titties sure are journalistic. But like, but. Those but it airbrush was, it titties was, sure are journalistic. It was clever, though. It yeah. was clever writing. And people bought into Made it. Made you man. laugh. You know? When you have airbrush titties. <laughs> I mean, those things, you could just flip a quarter off of them. Just bam. I mean, sex sells, right? I well, mean, he took. That's the whole point of he took you, one right? of the most. I mean, he took one of the most old, the, one of the most old professions in the world. Right. And he put it to a magazine. And I'm not saying they're prostitutes, but like. You're just showing off titties, you know, like... I mean, you're doing it for money, sex though, right? Sells. Sex sells. So... He's still doing it for money. But, yeah, with all these all these women coming out saying and accusing him, I, I get it. Like, if there's a... Cons- I, I always say, if there's a consensus, right. there is smoke there. You know what well, I mean? Well, if there's smoke, there's fire. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, the especially the early ones, like, they don't paint a good picture, man. He's got this one girl... Um, and I don't remember her name, and I'm not even going to try and, and say it, but she's really, like, sunken in. Like, she's clearly mm-hmm. been yeah. around the block a time or nine. Um, and she talks about being, like, his drug mule. Damn. Like, Hef would be like, hey, you know, why don't you uh, go to this place mm-hmm. and wherever in the, in, the, in the valley or go over here to San Fernando right, or yeah. wherever, you know, yeah. knock at this door and give them this package, and they'll give you a package, and then you come right back here. And she'd be like, I had no idea what was in it. And I get back, and he opens it up, and it's like four pounds of heroin or four pounds of cocaine or you know whatever for a party they're getting ready to have. Mm-hmm. So she basically got the entire stash for said party. Wow. And she you know, goes in further and, and starts talking. She's like, well, what would have happened had I gotten caught? She's like, well, it wouldn't be Hef that was going away. It would be me. <laughs> you know. And then when she breaks it all down, she's like, I never ever saw him go get anything like that. It was always me. He always sent me to go get it. 
It's like, well, there you go. The house that the Playboy Mansion, well, it actually was owned by someone else before Hef took over, but it was built in 1927. The the current one. The, I guess we don't. The have original a... Playboy Mansion was. Oh, the original. Bu- well, it wasn't Playboy Mansion. It was like because there's been like a it was couple like a of giant them, right? fucking like cottage house, dude. Yeah, like a giant mansion. Yeah, there's been a couple of them, if I remember right. Obviously, a mansion. Now, is this the one where the grotto is, the, the famous grotto is at? It was a gothic revival, Tudor revival. Yep. You got a picture of it up there? <clears throat> um, Pull that bitch out. Let's see here. Here it is. Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, this there you go. Right okay. And okay. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. You know. Well, now, where is that? That's. Oh, uh, it is. New York? No, that's, this is um, Chicago. Chicago that's mansion. the Chicago mansion. Yeah. Because I remember they, dude, at one point he had like four or five mansions, right? Yeah, they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. There's the, uh, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 That's dope, by the way. I'm just saying that Chicago one. Uh, it sits in, in the northwestern corner of the Los Angeles County Country Club near University of California, Los Angeles. Bel Air Country the Club. Bel Air Country Club. Yeah. Wow. Wow. $15 million was invested into the renovation and expansion Damn. of it. Just to renovate it. Yeah. 15 mil. Could you imagine Fucking that? Crazy, man. I mean, oh, my God. Could you know what we would do with 15 mil? But, I mean, that's. Mm. It, it, it was the place to be in Hollywood. That's where deals were made, man. Deal. I mean, think about. The grotto alone. Yeah. The stories that came out of that thing, mm-hmm. like. You know, you'd have world leaders go in there. Yeah. You know, shit would get hashed out sometimes. Boris, Boris Yeltsin going in there. Yeah, I think he was there. This is great pussy here. <laughs> it's, it's so warm. <laughs> it's like... In Russia. <laughs> so <laughs> In Soviet Russia. I bring vodka for everyone. <laughs> I so, trade four liters of vodka for you. But uh, yeah, he had everyone in there, man. Like celebrities, politicians, you name it. They wanted to be part of it. Right. And, uh, oh man, you know. they all all want to be part of it. Did you see? Speaking of politicians and scandals and things like that, uh, that uh, at the funeral in England mm-hmm. for I think it was Prince Philip, yeah, uh, the Queen decided to walk with her disgraced son down the aisle, and everyone was like, "You shouldn't do that." And she was like, "I'm going to do it anyway." Tough. So Andrew walked down. He, yeah, huh? he, that's, they that's, allowed him to join in. That's his last public appearance. Wow, get out of here. Yeah. So after this, we won't be seeing Andrew anymore. And the Queen straight up was like, "Nope, I'm going to walk with him." He's vanished, right? Yeah, from he's, the Queen's he's presence. pretty much. I don't know if he's banished from her presence. He is no longer allowed in the in the limelight. Well, she was. She's 95 now, right? She's dying. She's got to be dying. Well, she she beat COVID. I, I, know. I think the Omicron got her. <laughs> Omicron. So, Queenie, how are you doing? Queen hey, Elizabeth. Oh, hello, Omicron. <laughs> I was up in that, making uh, her sick. You got all up in this tart. <laughs> sure did. She tried to have a glass. Of, she had a, a cup of tea, and I was like, bitch, I'm <laughs> going to get you sick. <laughs> Teas and crumpets ain't Omicron, knocking that, ain't gonna knocking get that you, girl. Go, go and get you. I was up there at the top of the day, <laughs> mate. Oh, hey. Just hanging out with my mates. Oh, my God. And I got into her. Yeah, that's that's amazing yeah, actually that, that she uh, she straight up beat that. That fucking floors me that she's that old and well, to be fair, she's got that high level income and a little bit of importance that they're gonna give her whatever. Oh, they were shooting her up with fuck yeah stuff that not a lot of people can get. You know, right, I'm sure it's experimental the, stuff. Yeah, uh, man's you know? population can't get to fuck it. Fuck yeah, you know the cure for COVID. But that's cr- uh, Prince Andrew's such a piece of shit. We've talked about him several <sighs> times in the podcast. Every time I look at pictures of him too, he gets worse and worse. <sighs> you know. Like, he just looks progressively more and more I like mean, a fucking slime ball. Dude, you fucking lied. Obviously, you were there on the island, Epstein Island. What, he paid like $26 million to get out of a lawsuit? <sighs> when, when you pay Come up. Oh, man. That's, when, you, when you pay up out of court. That's a lot of cash. Just that, saying. It's not a good look. Right? Just saying. It just, you're, you're basically admitting guilt. You are. You are you're like, hey, uh, how much is this going to cost? Here's me to twenty six mil. Shut the fuck up, right? And go and go away. Can you imagine that? Just having the ability to just flop out a twenty six million dollar dick and go, all right, here you go. But I mean, I, I would imagine it would cost. This is going to satisfy, right? It's, it, I'm not going to hear from you again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Suck on this twenty six right? mil. I would shut off for twenty six mil. Why don't you go ahead and get this uh, twenty six mil all up in you? But there's there's photo there's photographic evidence. Yeah, and I'm gonna need that too. That he was 
with this this girl. You know, and I'm just going to say, that didn't play out well for him, pulling the shaggy move. Well, that wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, who was it? Uh, that wasn't me. My, your doppelganger? <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> That's my son. That wasn't me. Uh, you don't have a son. Well, it's more like when he's with that British accent, he's like, it wasn't me. Uh. Oh, this. I don't know why, but for some reason, he just wants to come out of my mouth like, I don't know, the Count from Man, Sesame Street. That guy's just One a dead hooker, shit. two dead hookers. Ah, ah. Well, I'll tell you, the royal family, man, they, they've been through some shit. There's been several different scandals. Um, yeah, but they're the royals, you know. They're like the Kennedys, right? They kind of get away with shit. Oh, they're beyond the Kennedys at this point. I mean, Kennedys are trying to be the royals, you know? Well, These guys come from generations of bullshit like this. Joe Kennedy, man. I mean, like, he made all of his money bootlegging. He had all those mob ties. Right. He made a fortune during the 30s when there was prohibition. How much fucking booze did he make? Dude, I mean, he was he probably had a deal. He had to revolutionize the way they moved that shit around, you know? Well, I believe he was. Was he? He was part of government. Was he an ambassador for the, our country? Like, was he like an overseas ambassador? Maybe. And then I he made some I'm deals overseas where not he's like with my Kennedy. Me either. History. I'm not really. I'm not up to date on. Yeah. Like, but I think he was. He had some kind of like connection where like they were bringing it in. The they were they were bringing they were importing the, the the booze, and he had guys. He had guys working for him. Good for him, man. And he had ties with the mafia, and he would share the... I knew he had ties with the mafia. Share mob. the wealth with them. Yeah. Well, he had to, kind of like back in the old country, right? Yeah. That's what they expected. Well, you had to make alliances back then. Yeah. You don't want to get fucking shot by them. Well, and that's what they expected, too, to be honest. Yeah. They expected a tribute. But, like, even... I think it's it's weird because the Kennedy family seemed cursed. Like, so many people died, like... Like kind of like Joe limp, Jr. Right, kind of like the Limp family in St. Louis. Right, like Joe Kennedy Jr. died. Mm. He he was he, he died in the war, but like he was never found. Right. So um, did he die? Rob Rob Robbie Kennedy was shot, yeah. assassinated. Uh, obviously, John. Obviously, was, John was assassinated. Obviously, um, there was some other shit. Like the well, one the, the one sister had an, uh, they, the, the family made her get in the. Uh, uh, Oh, they lobotomy uh, yeah, the, or some the, shit. The, the the father took her to get a lobotomy because she was a little too rambunctious. Yeah, and she was like, and it ended up brain fuck, dead after yeah, that. Yeah, it ended up fucking her up. How fucked she up is that? She went from like this happy, spunky, upbeat person, full of life, to like zero emotion. Just because her her personality was different from the rest of exactly. the family. Exactly. Well, there you go, right there. This douchebag went out and fucking made her a brain, made her a he, vegetable. He basically killed his daughter. You know, that he didn't so kill her, but he up. killed her. Man, that guy is a piece of right? shit. Well, and then you had uh, uh, Ted, Senator Ted Kennedy. Oh, yeah, he got away with one. Ted got away with one. He got drunk with a girl in the car and wrecked, and they went over the uh, a bridge somewhere in, I think, Pennsylvania, maybe. And uh, they ended up, uh, he crawled out of the car and went for help and yeah. didn't even go back for her, and she drowned. Or was it the house of Nantucket? Who oh, knows? It could have been. <laughs> The Kennedys. I had could have been the house in Nantucket. America's family. America's family. Let's take a break real right, quick. Man. Let's uh, thank all of our Patreon subscribers. Hey, let's thank Biscuit Strength. Yeah. Hey, let's Biscuit, what's up, brother? The Jeff City Paranormal Society. Yeah. Let's and thank the Platform and Chess Team Records. And JT from the Paranormal Sun. And JT from the Paranormal all Sun. All the way from around the world in Auckland, New Zealand. Hey, we're looking to upgrade uh, a little bit of our equipment, too. So if you want to go on over, head on over and help us out, check out patreon.com slash the old 77 podcast. Yeah. We're looking to get some headsets, man. Hell yeah. And you can help us out by heading on over there. So we can do remote locations. That'd be re oh, if we can do a little few more remote locations, yeah. get out a little bit more. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Shout out to uh, Raji Mertz. Uh, Raj, I love you, buddy. Thanks for marathoning us. What's up, Raj? Always listening. What's up to Toby Dean, our original Patreon subscriber? Oh yeah, Toby. Yep, Toby's going through some health issues right now. I, I wonder just if he say, still hey, listens man. to us. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't I, matter. I follow Toby every once in a while. And to everyone around the world, thank you for taking time out to listen to us. Now heard in over 40 countries, wow. just saying. There we go. Just saying. We'll take it. Yeah. So Scott and I will be right back on the old 77. Peace out, homies. Bitches. Time now for a Worthy Pictures old 77 exclusive. Here's a sneak peek at Worthy Pictures, the soul. Nick.
to the lake. Cutting you off, sweetie. It's time to go. It's fine. You've got my tab. Just put it on there. Give me another. No, I got your tab. We're cutting you off. I'm good okay. for it. Hey, let's not have a scene tonight. No. It's fine. Don't be a bitch about don't, it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on now. It's time to go. I'm seriously going to punch you in the face right now. Yes. Where's Madison? Probably one of her three jobs. Did you see her video today? One on YouTube or something? Oh my god, she went off, right? The part about how we deal with trauma differently. Yeah, I mean, just getting blasted anytime you get the chance. Either running away from things, pushing things away, or both. Right, it's so crazy that people go that far and don't even know that they're doing it. And all the people that get caught up in it, it's so sad. This is for the bar tab, guys. Ready? No! No! I gotta go to the bathroom. I wanna do some shots. A welcome back to the old 77. It's a safe place. In an unsafe world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scotty, yeah. the month of April is upon us, and that only means one thing. In a couple weeks, the Soul Graffiti comes out, directed by Jet Ainsworth. That's right. Um, and yours truly, are all of us. We're Pod all in it. That's the right. podcast is in it. We are the old 77. That You will see the old 77 literally in the movie. We play yes, ourselves. There was no acting. Nope. We just... We're, we were basically We weren't even ourselves. really given a script. We were just jets like here. Here's some... Here's some notes about the yep. fake city and the and the fake radio station that was right. part of the premise of the movie. He uh, actually he hit some spots for me that kind of gave me some triggers. I'm just gonna say, yeah, yeah, triggered but, me hard. But no, it was great. Like we had a lot of fun in it. But the movie comes out in two weeks. Um, a lot of people, a lot of local people, besides that were, that were under Jet, yep. put a lot of time in a because no one got paid. With, no one right? got paid for this. This is an independent film. This is a labor of love. Labor, a passion, a passion. Yeah. It's like passion of Christ. Only it's not. But Mel Gibson wasn't involved. <laughs> <laughs> Only it's not. Right. We're just saying. But yeah. this is more of a lighthearted, like, comedy drama. A dramedy. Would you call it dramedy? Would you call that a dramedy? Yeah. But uh, we have a. Uh, if you if you watch mm -hmm. on Spotify, Hold we. On there. If you've listened to this, if you listen to us this far along, you know that we have a video. We have I video. Do. Now. Uh, I can't. I can't pull it up. A though. video element on Spotify. Give me a. Give me a uno momento. There, uno momento. Oh. Si, senor. Oh, si. <laughs> you know what? I'll just have to deal with that one in uh, the next segment. I, I, I'm going to have to do some figuring. I don't know why yeah. it's not. Uh, it's not going to show up if in my configuration. If you're wondering where Dave's at tonight, he's in Colorado. Dave's in Colorado, having a good time. He's buying edibles. Yes, probably. Hopefully, yeah. he's bringing some wax back. He, I'm he, just saying. He's medical, so yeah. I mean, it's all I mean, legal. Dave's Dave. Dave can do all that. So hopefully, he has like uh, you know. Christmas in April gifts for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Literally Christmas trees. That's what I'm saying, Dave. Literal trees, bro. Jingle, lingle, dingle. <laughs> That's what Dave says. So Dave is actually uh, out in uh, Colorado right now. Him, the fam, yeah. they're all out doing some kind of hiking shit. I saw the other day, dude. When you can, That's when, a hot when pass you have a me. cabin in the middle of the woods and it's oh, a yeah. pimp ass place with dude, a fucking dope. jacuzzi it's on the dope deck. Too. And you have mountains in the view where it's like I can just imagine myself having a nice cold beverage or a bourbon, mm. sitting in the hot tub, mm. looking out, and there's a fucking mountain looking down. Right. A mountain looking down at you and your girl. Oh, yeah, you the, and your girl. The Rockies down are at the talking mountain. now. The Rockies. We're not talking the mountains. You know. You know, when you open up that can, it's like bush. <laughs> Check those out over there. Look at that right there. The Rockies are cold, baby. <laughs> How are we doing over there, Scott? So we're still doing, man. Technical I'm difficulties. There. Oh, it's not technical difficulties. It just kind of failed to grab the right mm. file. Well, hey. I have something up over here. Do you now? No, it's this. Like, yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to get on the screen. Oh. So I can get everything okay. else except that guy right there. Gotcha. And I don't know why. The Soul Graffiti, by the way, we're talking about. Yes. So we're, yes, we're talking so about our, our buddy. It's 
part of the movie. Fine. Where they You've got my tab. The bar Just put it on there. The Give me another. No, I got your tab. I'm good for it. That's not what's going on. That's not what's going on. I'm just no. guessing. I it's no fine. Don't be a bitch. It's not. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and shut that down. Mm. Just reboot that thing. And uh, it's it's a different file. Oh. Normally I play through uh, uh, an Internet Explorer, and I realize that's not an Internet Explorer. That's a complete file by itself. So I tried to load the file in OBS, and it just didn't work. It was so. working, though. Like. Yeah, I, we, we can watch it. Oh. We just can't let our listeners watch oh, it. That's the downside. Okay. I'll have to play with that. But you can definitely check it in between segments. Yep. Two and three, we will have that clip right there. Yeah. So, so do always, that. We can fuck it. We can fix it. We can fix it in post, Matt. I'll tell you what, though. That, that, so, we, we, you know, that's coming up, but we also have our 100th episode coming up. Oh, yeah. We're going to be at Capital Cinema. Capital City Cinema. Right there on High Street. On the day that the Soul Graffiti premieres. So if you guys, if, you, if you're going to the movie... Whether you're part of the movie or not, yeah. you're more than welcome to hop on the mic with us. Oh, absolutely. Stop on by. We'll, ha- we'll have an out. extra spot for you. Yeah. War- I'll keep the seat warm. Oh, yeah. And some popcorn. <laughs> and maybe an ice cold Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit by Dave and hold his hand. I'm sure Dave will be happy to hold hands. Dave has beautiful hair. Dude, his so you hands. Can, you can just so like, soft. pet his hair if you want. Right. That's fine with us. <laughs> That's an upcharge, man. That's an upcharge. Dave does charge for that. He's like a big old teddy bear. But his teddy has limits, if you know what I mean. This big old bear's got limits. They call him Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> the next coming of Teddy Ruxpin. No one calls him the next coming. Oh. Teddy. Oh, Teddy. Dave yeah. would quit. Dave would, he would agree. Yeah, he would agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. We're going to try and call him, too, I think, next segment. But uh, a lot of people that we know are in this movie. Uh, Daniel Brower, yeah. uh, Jenningsworth, yeah. obviously. A lot of Maurice people who've been Jones. on this show, too. Maurice Jones. Maurice going to be on the show coming um, up with the 100th episode. Plus, Maurice has a uh, uh, an album dropping with Chess Team yeah. Records. Uh, Goody. Our buddy Derek oh, T. Yeah. Gooden. A couple of times. in the movie. Derek T. Derek T. <laughs> Gooden. <laughs> Uh, he was on our episode. Was it last week he was on? Yeah, he was uh, 50. No, I'm sorry, 96, I oh, think. Okay. He was on, I think, the year we graduated, if I remember right. Oh, okay. 97. You graduated in 97? No, 96. I'm yeah, sorry. I graduated in 96. Oh, 97 was. I'm lost. Yeah. We've done so much fucking show. Too many shows. Dude, we've almost done 100 episodes. Oh, man. We're talking now about our 100th episode coming up April 16th. Oh. 3 you know, p.m., by the way. So, Scott, we've been doing this for like two years now. Yeah. And started just you and I brain, man, brainstorming at work like one day. A little table over there. Right. Oh, my Couldn't God. Didn't have this set up. Dude, the little table over there is fucking amazing compared to the other little table mm. that we had. I had a nightstand that I just tossed out one day and Matt set a computer on it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It was and so it, tiny. So, for episode 99, we got Jamie Rector coming in. Yeah. Jamie is the owner. Of In the Groove. Of In the Groove, and we have them on the show. Jamie was on the show probably oh, 40 episodes. Of, it's been a while ago. He, he was, uh, I think it was last year sometime, maybe like spring. Might have been this time last year, yeah. Because I think we were actually talking about Record Store Day at the time. I think so. Yeah. So he's coming back on next week. He wants, you know, we're going to talk about Record Store Day and yep. music. We usually talk about music. Oh, yeah. Um, we have some good laughs with Jamie. Oh, man. He's our boy. Yeah. Um, He's always a good time with Jamie. Yeah. You know, and it's funny, too, because, man, the show's really, like, evolved. Going back to where we were talking about before, just you and me Mm -hmm. sitting down, coming up with the concept of the show. We did our first episode. We didn't even... I mean, if if you've listened to the show... Like Raj, the marathon man, who's yeah. went through every one of them. He knows, man. We're not like that first episode. No. We're not like the first 10 episodes. Yeah, like people that listen to us, you know, orthodoxly, you know, they will tell you Did that. Did you get the word of the day toilet paper, man? You're throwing some big words my way. I, I looked at the thesaurus today. <laughs> and so, I, I, you know, like they will tell you that, you know, each stage, each uh like we, I, I feel like this show has really kind of evolved, oh, and yeah. people will tell me, like I, I get some feedback to where like people right. are like, "Well, fuck, you guys don't talk about anything." Well, we talk about stuff. We're just a hangout. That's my favorite. So my wife, somebody asked her the other day, "Hey, what's your husband's podcast about?" And she was like, "I, I don't really know. Nothing." It's kind of a hangout. It's kind yeah. of like, you know, if if you have 
time to listen to it in your car or whatever, or if you're like on a hike, right. or if you're working out at the gym oh, yeah. and you want some laughs. And that's the that's what it's we're all, all about. Demand. We're not. There's no high expectations for us. No. We're, we don't. We don't care about that. We we love. This is a passion of ours. Just Absolutely, like man. Jettings were did a passion of. Just like the worthy, soul graffiti, right, just like the soul graffiti from yeah, Worthy we, Pictures. We we don't get paid for this. We don't make much money from this. Make a little. We not make much. a little, but but this is the, in that, two years, not much. That's a plus for yeah. us because you know what? We just this is a passion of ours. This is an outlet for us, and we just do this because you know if you like to listen to the show, fuck, it's fun, man. We'll keep doing it, bro. Right? It's you know fun. I mean? Even if you don't, I have a feeling we'll still keep doing it. All the bros and the ladies out there bro. who like this, you like the show, bro. Mm. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Oh. What you drinking on over there, bro? Oh, it's a little Telmer Dew Irish little, little, whiskey with a uh, ice cold Coca Cola. <laughs> so goddamn woke, it makes you feel whiter. Oh, I'm drinking the whitest black drink around. I'm drinking some Sprite, Sprite. and some aviation. Sponsored gin. by LeBron James. When did, you know, I, I remember Sprite being a white, like, geared towards white kid drink mm -hmm. when did it like not happen that way it's like an inner city drink no I, no i think it's because they would just, they're just trying to sell it like to a mass every a commercial mass i now. see of sprite it's always like an urban setting it's never like a, a bunch of white kids hanging out it's always like a bunch of lebrons but i feel games. like coca-cola is more generally towards like coca-cola is universal upper now. middle class people yeah but well, you know, there's a the whole section of the country that you know, no matter what it is, you want a Coke? But Coca-Cola has really, like, they've done a great job at marketing. Oh, yeah. Like, especially Christmas, you had the, remember the bears, the polar bears Fuck back in the yes. day? yes, you couldn't get away from that. They still play that shit. Do they Every still play year. that commercial? Yeah. So, you know, Very clever ads. Now, Very now's clever. the time of year, especially around Easter, look for the fucking Cadbury Bunny ads and look how dated oh, they look. Oh, that was so old, dude, they back so in the day. so old, man. When I was a kid. That's what they played. And it's the same the, ones. There's one commercial oh. during Christmas. It's for... Um, Turbo Man? No, it's for uh, Reese's, I think. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. No, it's for um, it's for Reese's Her Hershey Kisses. Yeah, I was going to say the bells. And it's, the, it's the Christmas tree with the bells. Yeah. Dude, they played that when I was like fucking eight years old. Yeah. And they, they basically... It's the same shit. They took it and they just redid it. They reformatted it. But it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But it, it works, right? People I, remember I that shit. Nostalgia? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, for sure. Same way with those fucking polar bears, right? It's brilliant. The polar though. bears and the little, like, whatever, I don't know, the penguin or something. I, I remember when they, they first started doing that, they started to use, like, the uh, the, uh, the CGI kind of yeah. animation. Yeah, it was kind of the first CGI but it was like on pre TV. But it was, like, the, in the in, in its, like, infancy. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, this is cool, but this, like, I wasn't used to the animation. Right, of, it's strange. But then you're like, you know, time goes, you know, time passes by, and you're like, this is this is pretty cool now. They're getting better at it. It's all right. They still do the polar bears, like you said. Yeah, they'll do polar bears. Interesting. The Cadbury fucking bunny, where, oh, yeah. where they do the auditions for the Cadbury bunny, and they got the the giant lion that's like, Bar! could you imagine? Could you imagine if like they did like like St. Patrick's Day fucking ads? Oh, man, you have like this little Irish Mick. And he's like, oh, how do you do it? I'm going to drink this Coca-Cola now. Gonna, hey, I'm yeah, going to add yeah. a little Irish whiskey to it. And I'm going to get some fights and fuck some bitches with it. Cue the Dropkick Murphys now. <laughs> Ship it up to Boston. I love fucking Dropkick Murphys, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I don't even know. No. I was saying, what the fuck were we even talking about? I don't know. I got lost in the I got lost in the dropkick Murphy. No, we're talking about like marketing and stuff. Oh uh, well, as someone who does sprite, yeah, yeah, right. As someone who does marketing, like you see a lot of that shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot that goes into that Coke commercial and that Sprite commercial. Dude, you know, so it's crazy. They don't use cocoa beans anymore for Coca Cola. No. They use like this alternative element now. I'm I'm upset that they don't put cocaine in it anymore. To be honest, that was an original ingredient. I know. You know. I know. Back Coke in, was green back in the day. Was it green? Mm hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, too much copper. There. I think they used to put a lot of copper in it or whatever oh, it was. So used to weird, like, right? Like, it was some weird thing. But why is Coke? Ta why why does it taste so much better than Pepsi? I don't know, man. It's got more acid in it. That's for sure. You can clean an engine with Coke. Well, you can also. I know people back home that would clean blood stains and like with Coca Cola. Rust with Coca Cola. Well, you can also uh, 
do that with Pepsi too. Can you? I, I didn't know you could with Pepsi. Dude, a, a friend of mine up in Vermont, he, we were, we, we were partying one night and he, I don't know why we were doing this. We were pretty fucked up. <laughs> and he took a can of Pepsi and there was, he had his junker car. Right. He's like, what just, man? Pours he, the Pepsi on there. Then like on laid, the hood? Yeah. It ate the paint. But the it? paint was all fucked up already. Anyway. Right. And he like just put like a white spot on but his car. But it ate car. the paint. Ate the paint right yeah. off the car. You're putting that in your stomach. Oh, yeah. And that's that, nothing compared to like Mountain Dew, dude. But does, but, the, but, does not, but does that not show you how strong your stomach is? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, same. Uh, did you, you watch Breaking Bad, right? You know where they're yeah. talking at the beginning where they're trying to break those bodies down mm-hmm. in the tub? Mm-hmm. They're using stomach acid mm-hmm. to do that. So that's like your stomach. Jesus Christ. You know, you have the ability to digest a person. Ugh, that's fucking gross. So just think of that. Cannibalism. Hey, if you ever feel like you're just not worth a damn, your kidneys are worth $35 on the black market. Just mm. saying. You're always worth something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know, our... Uh, my life insurance is pretty good. If I pass away, Sarah definitely is dead. Oh, She's yeah. certainly taken care of. I'm worth way more dead than alive, yeah. let me tell you. And I'm, you know, it's, it's fucking sad to say that. But I hated doing that. So I, I. I hate to be an adult here for a minute, but yeah. I absolutely fucking hated. It's okay. Adults are listening to As, this shit. Uh, yeah, I know. And we're drinking and we're having 80. I'm, I'm drinking gin. You're drinking Talmadur. Talmadur. Talmadur, my fucking <laughs> Irish mate. So... Um, but I absolutely hated like getting serious, going to the insurance, mm-hmm. talking about like my wishes on what I wanted after I'm gone, mm. like how to it, like like that fucking bothers me, man. I don't know why. It's weird because it really brings. I mean, it's it's one of those things where you think about your mortality. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. Because honestly, the reality is we're not here forever. You know, and I always said that I feel like as a person, like like as a person, you don't really become an adult until one of your parents passes. Yeah, and you have had both. You know, and both my parents, God bless them, are gone. Um, but. I feel like with my, like I said, I've said this before on the show. Like when my dad died, it gave me that, hey, I'm not going to be here forever. Yeah. And then when my mom died, it was like, your, your fucking clock's ticking, dude. Get to moving. Yeah. You know, type yeah. thing. Yeah, well, yeah. But it, it, it's a whole other fucking outlook, man, when yeah. mom or dad goes. Yeah, lucky, luckily, like my parents. Kiss I have, your parents, I, hug them, call them. Uh, you know, I. You know? Sometimes I I get frustrated with my parents. Right. Um not my, my, not my Every, parents, but everyone like everyone does, man. Like yeah, and but the thing is, like I just I everyone I does. don't get mad at them because time is so precious yeah. now. Yeah, time is something that we're given that we take it for granted and we waste a lot of it. Oh yeah, and you look back at it and you're like, damn, and, I and wish we, I would have done more. And we waste it on stupid shit. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm too shy to go over there and talk to that guy. Well, when you're young, you know, when you're young, I wish and if I knew what I knew, if I oh. knew what I knew. If I could take bag with me, oh brother, I'd be a pimp. I'd be, I'm <laughs> I'd gonna, be the most popular guy. I in would be a school. lot different. You're right, and I wouldn't give a fuck. Nope. And if you wanted to fucking fight, I'd fight you. Like I wouldn't be this little fucking. I'd be like, put up here, Duke. So like, I got no. There fucking was a time, dukes. like early in in my in my grade school life, that I would back down because I was shy. But then I, I I got to grow some balls after a while. That's not even about balls though. But no, but like when I mean, when you get bullied. Yeah, that you someone tests your limits and then you just fucking you lose your shit and that's it. Like you're just done with it, right? Because there's a there's a time where you have to start sticking up for yourself. But but even beyond that, like like the ability to go talk to a girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you well, kidding me? Too, yeah. Like I it, that, there's such a hesitation. I, I would have right? I would have had no problem going and there's fighting such a, a bully, hesitation. But I would have had ten shades of fucking problems yeah. to go and talk to a girl. Right. Why? Because it. You, Knowing no, that you're afraid of exactly. the turndown, I, 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 you're afraid I, of rejection. I think a, I didn't want to be turned down and rejected. B, I didn't want to be rejected by someone I don't even fucking know, you know. And 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 beyond that, I think it's, I was so worried and wrapped up in my own head that I had no idea she had her own shit going on. Yeah, you know, girls are just as fucking insecure as guys. And if you just walk up and say yeah. hi, that's ninety percent well, of the problem. Girls right are there. way more complicated than dudes. Like women are way more complicated. They're not. They are though. I don't their think, bodies are. Their bodies are, but they're not. They're, girls, girls but, want everything but, we want. But in girls, just a different way. Girls are way more mature than men are. Yes. 
Because we are certainly because like, they're I, and I hate to be this way, but because they're raised to be that way. I don't know. I think it's genetically like yes, embedded in them. I, I do agree with that. Genetics has something to do with it. Because but I feel also, like I'm way more immature than Sarah. Dude, girls grow up 44. so much faster. And Sarah's 39 now. You know, girls are so much, they grow up so much faster. Like my girl right now, my little girl is mm. eight years old. She's going to be nine. We got titties coming, boys. Um, I got boobies coming. Right. We're buying bras. Yeah. I mean, we're just a couple of, we, we got to be a couple of years away from, from actually having full on periods. Oh, man. And that fucking works. Yeah, you're me, not too you far know? off. She's nine. Yeah. They grow fast, dude. But when you start that fast, you, you, you mature fast, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I feel like as a boy, I didn't even start to mature till 25. Well, I'm going to be honest. Dude, Sloan now, like, she talks in, like, full sentences. Yeah. And it's broken. It's broken sentences. Obviously. How old is she She's now? three. She's three. But she's huge for her age. Oh, that's that's Katie. But she's she, enormous. But she looks she's like a teenager. Like, she has this, like, rebellious spirit. Is that you? It's Sarah. Sarah? Um, I think it's, part of, it's partially me. Um, Could be. How do you discipline the you out of your kid though? Wow. They're you know? like you said, they're very like unwired. Um she's a lot like me as far as like personality wise, as far as being funny and thinking she's funny. Yeah. And and thinking. And being outgoing. <laughs> I think she's a lot like me. Well, she's I'm very funny. She's very outgoing. Yeah. So she def certainly gets that from me. Sarah's more of a um she's more of a recluse. But Sarah is strong, she's independent, she's rebellious, and Sloane is all that. Yeah. She, she certainly isn't a recluse. I'm, that's yet to be seen. She may be when she gets older, but she's certainly the party animal. She's always asking if someone's coming over. Oh, she's ready to, she's and down she, to clown, huh? That was a lot like Dad. Yeah. She, that's a lot like Dad. That was But so me. she has like a lot of the best of us, but also she has a lot oh. of the worst of us. That's the worst and if anyone out there who has kids, you know that you your know. child is this. They have the best and worst of yeah, you. Yeah, you know, and your husband or wife. And uh, it, the thing is, what well, it's amazing to me that when your kid does something, you know they're going to do it before they do it. Yeah, because it's so genetically engineered. You've done that. that. They're so much like you. Yeah, that you can just read what they're going to do. It's amazing it really is astonishing dude it's awesome too because i've got my boy's number it's so fun to watch so anytime he does shit i'm like don't be doing that how'd you know if yeah. you do that dude you I, kidding me i invented that shit but dude i gotta take a piss so bad right <laughs> all now. right man let's take a break real quick oh do you want to take a break yeah let's all take right. a break let's do that so hey come and hang out with us at patreon.com slash the old 77 podcast for five dollars a month you can support our radio habit we're looking to get a couple of headsets so we can do some live remotes yeah. help us out with that please that'd be awesome thanks to biscuit street what up, in so the house biscuit. also our friends at the jefferson city paranormal society our friends at chess team and records all the way from across the world Auckland, <laughs> New Zealand, JT in the paranormal suit. <laughs> JT, I love you, buddy. <laughs> All right, man, we're going to go take a hot break. Yeah, I need to take a hot piss. Hot. See you on the flippy flip on the cool down. Bitches. Peace. Uh, has sure. it has it surpassed all of your expectations so far? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think um, I think I think that's a safe thing yeah, to everybody say. Everybody I talk to has great things to say about it. Yeah, I never hear anybody say yeah. anything bad about Life Absolutely. Supply. I mean, it, except the, for we don't have Bud Light on tap, but that's only okay. <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> the people that are wanting to have you Bud Light and Hazard Bush. Thank you. Give, give, give me a real beer. I've heard <laughs> yeah, that exactly. You're, you're right. at the oh. wrong place if you want a yeah. Bud Light, man. Yeah. Lots of places you can get Bud Light in Jeff City. If you're local, check out Last Flight Brewing Company today. Go enjoy some sunshine. Get off your couch. Go. Go right now. Fill up your growler. Hold on there. Cooling it down like baby powder on junk on a hot summer day. Ooh, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> the cool down happening with Scott and Matt tonight on the old 77. Dave hey. is in Colorado. What's up? Vacation in... Mr. Jordan. I mean, you guys already know that because you heard... You, you've heard segment two. And one. And one. 
Yes. But uh, so we have something queued up right real quick. It's, it's the, yeah. we were talking about the soul graffiti last segment. And we we're talking about the trailer that never played. So <laughs> I feel like we owe it to we owe the it podcast to, you, yeah. to play it. So and here is the clip that we have, exclusive clip to the Soul Graffiti, a movie we're in from Worthy Pictures. Oh, yeah. The Soul Graffiti. A jetting. Ooh, that was loud. Sorry. Fingers to oh, the bone. Did they just do a shot ski? It's fine. You've got my tab. Just put it on there. Give me another. No, I got your tab. We're cutting you off. Let's not have a scene tonight. No. It's fine. Don't be a bitch about it. Don't be a bitch about it. Don't do that. Come on now. It's time to go. I'm seriously going to punch you in the face right now. Ooh. Hey, can you pause that real quick? Yeah. Yes. Where's Madison? Probably one of her. Women get away with that shit, right? Because if that was a guy. The guy would get his ass whooped by yeah. that dude. Oh, yeah. He's a big motherfucker. That dude would have picked him up and, like, shit on him. And, like, if that was me, like, hey, man, come on. No, fuck you. You're not, you're not closing this bar down. I want another shot. Yeah. I'll you're, punch you in your face. You're not cutting me off here. No, right, fuck you. Right. He would hit me. I'd get tossed out the window. Like, guys have it way worse at bars than women. <sighs> women, I feel they like. They get drinks paid for them. Right. And they, they also, can get away with that kind of behavior. But they also get shit put in their drinks, too. Well, that's true. You know. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta keep that. Sorry for interrupting the trailer, Jed. No, 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 not at all, not at all. But you're totally right. Yeah. And Danielle's, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Danielle's hot, so. Right. She'd get away with that. I mean, I think she's hot. Just say. Three jobs. Did you see her video today? One on YouTube or something? Oh my God, she went off. Right. The part about how we deal with trauma differently. Yeah, I mean, just getting blasted anytime he gets a chance. Either running away from things, pushing things away, or both. Right. It's so crazy that people go that far and don't even know that they're doing it and all the people doing <laughs> it, it's so sad just for the bar tab guys she's yeah. chugging those white claws Dirty. ain't no laws with the claws bro <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. shots oh I've seen that uh, look I've seen that shot. look fuck yeah yeah we've seen that I've seen that look yeah oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's puking. <laughs> oh, the shot ski. I love So, that, like, yeah. throwing up when you're that drunk look, is man. the worst, right? Like, throwing oh. up in general is bad, but, like, up sucks. when you're drunk, it is even worse. Dude, there were, I went out, so I went out for my birthday a couple years ago. <sighs> I think I was turning. I'd rather not. I think I was turning 42 or 43. I went out with Gary and my, my father-in-law and my brother-in-law. Yeah. Picked me up. We went out, met up with some friends. And we had dinner at the old Big Whiskey. Oh, Big Whiskey. I was whiskey. putting down whiskeys. And, yeah, add, uh, add Big Whiskey, like dr- you should. I, I ate a steak that night. How then are the steaks there? Pretty good. Yeah. I, I was pretty drunk when I was eating okay, it, so, so anything was good as shit at the then. time. <laughs> so then we roll over to Bones, right. right there on the alley. And, dude, I must have drank, like, fucking, like, five Manhattans there. I got so fucked up. So, dude, anyway, Gary and Caleb brought me home. Just, like, it was time to go home, whatever. And uh, they're like, they're, they said to That's Sarah, they said to Sarah, good luck, man. <laughs> I get in there, He's dude. I'm so fucked up. I, I get, so I take a shower, all that, right? I get right. into bed, and I'm spinning. <sighs> and I'm hot. You know, I got a cure for that. Keep going, keep going. So anyway, I go into the bathroom. I'm buck naked, right? Yeah, all right, buck naked. Mm. Sitting on the bathroom floor, throwing up into the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> And I was so sick that I, I would get up and I, I thought I was fine and get it back into bed and the same exact thing happened all over again. And you'd again. have to get up and go back. So in. it was the same cycle like maybe three times. Now how are we talking? Were you like on your knees or like full on ass no, clapped full onto the floor? On right ass, right ass cheek just like on its side, oh. my head against the porcelain. Because it's so cool. And it was oh, it was a horrible, right. horrible experience. And there was, was it a, a clean toilet? All I, yeah, no, it was. There was a weird smell coming from the toilet, and it made me even sicker, dude. That's I was the like, worst. That's dude. so fucking <laughs> pathetic, right? <laughs> Jesus, that's the worst. <laughs> but oh. so I was laying literally like passed out, my head on the porcelain, right? Butt naked, butt naked, looking all fucking half, half-ass, handsome and the sexy floor. on there. Hey, baby. Sarah was like, 
you're she, she was so mad at me because <laughs> of how fuck she's like do not wake up sloan i told i was like walking out to like the front door butt naked to take the dogs out i'm like don't take the dogs out she's <laughs> like you have to get back in the get house in here. we live here <laughs> oh she was so upset with me man and so i was passed out on the the bathroom floor. <laughs> She's such a good wife that she didn't take a picture of me That's or great. video it because she could have easily play, held man. that against me right. forever with Turnabout's evidence. fair play, though. So she did me right there. Good. And uh, the next day I had maybe top four hangover. Ooh, top four, uh, huh? It was pretty sick. And it was one of those where, like, I, I didn't feel bad. I didn't feel bad in the AM. Yeah. But when I finally, like, progressed through the PM, I was like, Oh my god! Right, I feel so bad right now. <laughs> like I need to go to bed. I need yeah. to get myself a drink. Yeah, if I don't get enough sleep, I'm I'm done. I was a like Gatorade all day. Oh. I wanted something sweet, something greasy all day. Yep. Like we all been there, oh, right? Yeah. Oh god, yeah. It, it, dude, I think the top one of the top times I was drunk, I was out with Philly, Philly Mike, Big Philly, and uh, Roger, Roger Merritt's out there. Big Rod, what's up, brother? And uh, we went to uh, a place called Burnsies. And uh, sounds right. We were there all night long. It was it was, like, it was like a gather, it was like a reunion of all of our friends. All right. So we go back to Roger's house. I'm fucking blackout drunk. <laughs> we're down there. We're doing more shots of Jameson in Roger's basement. And there's pictures of me with a fucking Burger King crown on. You know those like? Oh yeah, man. Everybody had the king crown on. I got the on. two thumbs up, and my Fuck, eyes yeah. are just fucking belligerently drunk. <laughs> that that was one of the I don't even remember that picture even being taken of me. Damn. And it was boom. There yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I think I've been a few of those. But everyone's been there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come of on. Course. I mean we What was the what was the worst time you were drunk? What was the what was the worst? One of the the worst times that comes to memory is we were talking about this uh today. I did the Century Club with my friends. Mm-hmm. We did it one time, and I was totally fine. How like, far back does like this go? Like when I was young, table. I've actually got pictures of this shit, dude. Like how old were you when this happened? I was probably twenty-one. Okay, twenty. Do a lot of crazy. I would shit say right between now. eighteen no. and twenty-one. Yeah, this is in my this is in my prime. Yeah, prime was like, like prime. You would get over quicker, right? That's I a feel. different. That's a different time we're talking about. My like, prime was was yeah. different. I feel like, like today. Today, like hangovers are way worse when you're older. Well, and it depends on what you're drinking too. And I learned this with age. Mm-hmm. You drink that rum and all that that sugary, good tasting yeah. shit. You're gonna have a hell of a hangover. Bourbon, I don't get a hangover from. I I do a little bit. I get a hangover. I'm just in the super head. tired from it. Exactly. Yeah. But with gin, gin is what I found. I don't really mm. get too much of a hangover if I drink gin. Gin's a plant. I love gin. The juniper buddy. I love gin. <laughs> juniper buddy. The what? juniper buddy. It's one of my favorite buddies. Hey man. Hey man. Hey Jim, come on over. Hey juniper. <laughs> I love that gin. You know what I mean? Gin and juice, bitch. <laughs> bros up, hose down. Bro, yeah, bros before hose, man. <laughs> bros. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Little man. John. Oh man, Little John! Yeah, wow, yeah, John. oh dude. Okay, so let me see if I can't pull this shit up here for you, dude. So tell me, tell I, me, Scotty. I actually have. Let me change winders. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is actually from the night we did the Century Club. So this is my friend Ryan and my best friend James and my buddy Brock, who's no longer here, okay. and my buddy Todd, who is no longer here. Sure. And then that's me. Sitting there in the backwards hat. I don't have a beard Where are yet. You at? Backwards hat. So let me. Uh, let I don't me... see you in the picture. So can you see? Yeah, there we go. So that's me right that's there. That's you right there? That's, that's me. That doesn't even look like that's you. That's my buddy dude. Ryan James. Do you have a football jersey on? Yes. I, what had a Carolina, the fuck? I had a Carolina Panthers jersey on. Scott? So, okay, oh, here there we go. you go. Yeah, that definitely so looks like you now. This, yeah. is, this is after 75 shots. Yeah. Right? And and after every consecutive shot, I think we were doing seventy five beer shots, right? Yeah. So what what it is is you do the Century Club. You take a shot. When we did it with beer, you do a shot of beer every minute for a hundred minutes. Oh, and that futon after these four heavyweights and these big lard asses were on it. Yeah. It did not make it after this night. Oh really? Yeah. Rest in peace, futon. Oh, it was it was bad. Futons dude. were like the shit back in dude, the day. Dude, futons man. were you you were, you were something if you had a fucking futon, right? 
It was like the new thing. Like futons were so new, and it was right? like, check this out, man. This fucking couch slides into a yeah. bed. So it's funny. This is the picture my buddy Brock is most associated with. Wow, <laughs> that's a true love. That boy. No, I, that was at my buddy James's house. I remember back in the day, long time ago. That's a good picture. He walked in that way, and we just snapped the picture. You know, he looks <laughs> fucking sp- wasted. Oh, he was. Yeah, that was my boy. That was my boy B. He went to get so high, he never came down. That's some old school shit right there, man. Right? Oh, here you go, dude. There's me. Wow. There's me at my 19th. No, it's my 18th birthday. That's your, you're 18 there? 18 wow. or maybe 17. Probably 17. I was still in high school. I'm wearing my high school shit. That's me and Brock. You, it's crazy because, like. I don't even look like that anymore. No. Right? You don't. That's not. That's I don't not even. Me. Yeah. That's not me. Dude, there are pictures. Of me when I'm Tyler. when I'm younger, it doesn't even look like me when I was young. Right, like and Sarah's like, "That's you." <laughs> She's like, "You were fucking so skinny." That, that always like, amazes me when the wife is like, "Oh, that's you." She's like, "I wouldn't have dated you back then." I'm like, "Fucking right, you would." Because yeah, you know why? Right. Once you found out little Matt was bigger than Big Matt, you fell in love. And Big and Matt, I fell asleep. I call him Big Matt. <laughs> <laughs> You want to rub Little Matt, make him Big Matt? I'm Little Matt. Big <laughs> yeah. Matt. That's what you want to see. He's the guy in charge, yeah. I didn't say Big Mac. No fucking... No fucking way. No. <laughs> Big Matt. Uh, oh, what... I give it it all. I got Captain. Let's give Dave a call. Why yeah, not? let's do it. Hey, know? Dave in Colorado. Dave in Colorado, you're on the program. Hi, this is Dave. Oh. I uh, I love to uh, give blowjobs. Blowies. I like to say things to little kids. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I'm just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to answer? Is he? <laughs> I don't believe he's going to answer. Dave. Come on, Dave. Answer the phone. Answer, you fucking now, mother keep in fuck. mind, this is completely just straight out of the blue. No. We're just... Con- <laughs> <Dave>. <laughs> we're just- we're, hey, we're, we're, we're basically we're like... Being- we're calling you Dave. 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 Answer the phone. Yeah, he's not answering. All right. What a pussy. See if he calls back, though. Maybe. We might get lucky. I don't know, man. You never know. I'm going to fucking text him right now. Tell him (laughs) to jump on. Tell him to jump on. Dave, you motherfucker, where are you? P.S. Love you. Bastard. Bastard. You're cute. It's only 830 there. Is that what it is? Yeah, I was wondering they're an what hour the t- back. Dude. I was afraid it was the other way around, and I was like, oh, shit, I hope I didn't call him at 1030. Well, hell, dude, he's probably out. Him and his wife are probably out doing, like, 96-mile hike somewhere, you know, for fun, holding, like, you know, 40-pound mules on each shoulder. She's so carrying you, his so, ass. Right, yeah. so you can get a sweat in, you know. You know, I'm telling you, the Dick Slayer is so proud of Dave for marrying. Oh, right. He's like, oh, my boy married For marrying up. Jessica. Right? He's like, you know what? She's a chip off the old block. If Dave's going to be a pussy, <laughs> <laughs> then you know what? At least his wife's not. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> he just texts me back. He goes, I can be soon. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry to inconvenience you, Dave. Uh, he's in the middle of an intense game of Clue. Oh, I bet he is. In a world where Dave is in the middle of an intense game of I'm going to text him back to make it twister. Oh, God, I hope not. Right on red, but you gotta like spin around. It's Oof. like in the middle of an intense game of Clue. I was like, naked twister? Naked question twister? Mark. Question mark? I think you meant naked twister, Dave. I'm gonna be like, we're in the cool down, bitch. Answer the <laughs> phone. <laughs> so Dave's straight up playing some naked Clue. We're drinking aviation gin and Tillamador. How's that going down, by the way? It fucking tastes great. <laughs> With the Coca-Cola and the Telemadu. <laughs> Me and old Jamie over there from hey, Flanagan hey, County. Hey, Flanagan County. We need- Everyone loves it. <laughs> we, we need to have a bit where we do something about Flanagan. Flanagan, like Flanagan. I got my jacket at Flanagan's, you Come fuck. Come on down to Flanagan's flannels and get your own jacket. We're going to turn Flanagan to just a noun. <laughs> <laughs> you can oh, use it for Flanagan. anything. Shit, I got Flanagan the other day. Dave goes, uh, damn, y'all are early. Right, we started a little early tonight. Well, Dave forgets about time zones. That's what you should tell him, yeah. Time zones, bitch. Hashtag time zones, bitch. 
Uh, I'm going to be like, well, 9.30 here, homo. <laughs> Sorry. Hashtag time zones, Dave. Oh, that's funny, man. So, Dave, uh, I wonder, uh, man, I wonder if we could talk to him. I wonder if we Come can legally talk, like, to me. talk to him about what he's got. I said, we're in the cool down. Not what you're bringing yeah, you know, home. I'll be done real soon. Oh. I was like, 9.30 here. And he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He, did, he forgot that it was an 8.30. Yeah. Oh, he's number when he he's asked, thinking he's on normal time. Last week he asked, he asked Jason. He's like, "Hey, what time's it there?" I'm like, "Dave, <laughs> right. it's an hour ahead." It's an hour ahead, man. I love you, bro. Now, <clears throat> now you're an hour behind, Dave. We want to get everyone who's in the room with you. Now we, I feel like Bring we need those. On. We need those like whole like you know area clocks. This is what time it is here. This is what time it is here. Just for Dave. Yeah, Just, like right above. Yeah, the, the like right above right where right Dave there. Yeah. would be looking. <laughs> Damn it, Dave! Damn it, Dave! Oh, he's he's just playing the clue. He's like, I wonder uh, uh, what's some of the characters from Clue. I was gonna say Colonel Mustard, <laughs> Professor Plum. Oh, Professor Plum, Miss, Mrs. White. Wasn't there a movie called The Clue? Yeah, it was called Clue. It was That's based on I the thought. board game. Yeah, Colonel Mustard was my favorite. Uh, who else was there? Oh, because uh, in that they had Tim Curry in the movie. He played Wadsworth the Butler, and that was a new character. Fantastic, by the way. Have you seen Tim Curry lately? I feel like you can judge a lot about a person by who and when they know Tim Curry. Do uh, well, Tim Curry obviously he died. Right? Is he dead? I thought he was still alive. I thought he had a stroke, a massive stroke here while back. But I thought he was still alive. We're talking about the same Tim Curry, right? The British actor. Yeah. Yeah. I he think... was in. Um... Let's that find name? out. Tim Curry's dead. I, he's pretty. I'm pretty sure he's dead, dude. Is Tim Curry alive? I mean, he was in a bunch of movies. 21. Boom. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, he's still alive, dude. He's not dead yet. Tim Curry? Years active, 1968 to present. So Tim Curry was... Is it not ringing a bell for you? No, I know who he is. Yeah, he... He's still alive. Fuck! Someone told me he was dead. No, he had a he had a massive fucking stroke. Sarah dude. told me he was dead, because I was like, "Oh, there goes Tim Curry." She's like, oh, he's he passed away. I'm like, for real? No, he's still he's still kicking. Oh, I'm, I'm glad. I really like Tim Curry. I do too, man. And like I said, I feel you know a lot about a person by who and when they know Tim Curry. Like if you roll down there to some of his roles, they're all different. Just about Home Alone two, obviously. Right, right. He was Pennywise in a 1985. Right. In the ridiculous the it. it. That um, was the it made for TV, mind you. He was in the Three Musketeers. Right. King Arthur on Broadway. He did a lot of Broadway stuff. He was uh, a theater TK. guy. He was a theater. I like theater. I, you I, know, I don't have a problem with theater. I like theater. I feel like theater I wish they had theater. Rap. They have theater here. They have live theater. We, we do have theater here. We do. Yeah. My um, boy's done some of it. My cousin-in-law's part of it. She's really? in a lot of these productions. Uh, are we talking about Cap City... Cap City production? I forget what it's called. It's called... Uh, so there's one down by the IHOP, and if it's the one I'm thinking of, it's Capital City Productions. Maybe that's it, but I think there's a group called... Um, and they have a whole little area, man. They're yeah. doing it right. Well, they do. I, I think that's the uh, that's the venue, mm -hmm. but I think there's certain groups that also go oh, there like and perform. The there's like certain... like there, I think there's like two different theater groups in town. It's a nice venue, I will say that. And I love live theater. I love like the improv. I don't care for the singing aspect of it. No, but the improv is right. like you're the full on act. I feel like performing in, in front of a bunch of people is like one of the hardest things to do in life, dude. It's just like, like doing a podcast in front. But of also, people. like, but you know, it's I don't know, like being in radio, like yeah, you, you you get comfortable like talking in front of people, but like it, like it took me a long time to get over that. Yeah. Like, Me too, man. There's a point like in my radio career where I was like, I just don't give a fuck anymore, so I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. And if I make an ass out of myself, then I do. It doesn't matter. But generally, you're okay with that. Generally, you're fine because you're a very... That's what you're I'm a very for. humble person. Like I have a very... I have a, I have a huge, huge line of... Uh, Schlong, hum, I know. That and humility, dude. Like I'm a very <laughs> humble person, dude. It's like, you know, schlong too. Yeah. Schlong too. Very, very humble. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you have to when you're in theater or some kind of public setting. Right. 
Theater especially, because people are paying skin. to see you. You've got to have some thick skin in theater. Like, you're paying money to go and watch these people. And right. There's a lot. There's some pressure for that. But most of the uh, local theater people, they're talented folks, man. They just love living here. And and they could have they could, they could have went anywhere with. And it. it's local theater, so they're doing that for the the love of it. Mm-hmm. A lot like our friends at Worthy Pictures who did the Soul Graffiti. The Soul Graffiti. The Soul Graffiti. A Jettingsworth joint. Jettingsworth. Starring Derek T. Gooden. I don't think Derek's in it. No. Oh, oh, Danielle Brower. But that did give me a really good idea. Yeah. So. Tell me, Scott. We're talking about the Hot Wangs Challenge. Oh, yeah, the Hot Wangs. And that's W-A-N-Z. Uh, our, W-A-N-G-Z. Yeah. Wangs. That's our thing. Get it's your the Hot wangs. wangs Challenge. Yeah. We're thinking about do this, doing this like late April. We're going to do it in studio. We're going to do the hot ones. Uh, the, the, the sauces table of the hot up, ones. Right? But we're going to like label it. Differently, because it's going to be like maybe we can start this as like an annual thing to welcome in the maybe. spring season. We're going to do cool. the hot wangs challenge. <laughs> <laughs> hot wangs. Put some spice on. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, but I was thinking Derek would be a really good person to do that with. He's very animated. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, Derek would be a great. You imagine when he hit the bomb. Woo! I don't. I, I'm not his sure. little Viking. I mean, if you haven't seen Derek lately, his little Viking haircut would go crazy. It would do a head. It would do like the the the. Uh, so since getting out of the military, he's let his hair grow long. He puts it up in a in a little little ponytail, and then he shaved underneath it. So it's like yeah. a Viking. Look. He looks like Viking Quest. Right, he does. He looks like A and E's Vikings. History Channel presents Vikings. But his hair is Derek. like in a man bun now. Kind of. And Derek, I'm not talking shit because I don't want you to shoot me. Yeah, please don't shoot me. Or, f- or use the flamethrower or some shit. I mean, if it's cold out, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> You're just looking out. Let me get a Dave update real we quick. We got a Dave update. <laughs> Another news Dave is still in Colorado fucking off with Clue. <laughs> I am Dr. Plum. <laughs> <laughs> try to call him now. See oh, he says try to call now, eh? That mm. motherfucker better answer. Call that guy. Calling Dave. Dave. You better answer. You better answer this shit, Dave. Calling Dave. Dave. Oh, there's Dave. Hello. Oh, Dave Jordan. <laughs> there he is. Dave. Yo, Dave. How's Colorado going, dude? Oh, man. It's. Uh, it's you you got to hit the, hit the camera <laughs> button. <laughs> hit the camera button, Scott. No, no, no. It's Wait, him, right? See me? No, that's us, dude. There you go. Is that us? Oh, I thought that was Oh, him. that's Dave. That's Dave, Dave, you got to hit the camera button, son. Yeah, man. Oh, share Hold share on. video. Now you got me, I, yeah. Dave Jordan. Everybody, Dave? Hold on, man. It's, it says I'm doing video now, but I don't see you guys. Yeah, either. I was gonna say what that these when, bitches want. Oh, I know it's a. Hold on. Hold on, Dave. Scott's fixing it. Dave, he's on it. In a world where Dave. How's things in Missouri, boys? Oh, you know the same it has it as it was when you left. You know. Okay. But it's fucking uh, cold out here tonight. It's like 40 degrees, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure today it was hotter here where I am in Colorado than it was in Jeff City. Weren't you guys like in the like upper 30s or like lower 40s? Tonight today? it's dropping down to freezing your nutsack off. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we've had a couple of those nights, but I've kept the bourbon close. I was going to say, how's your nutsack? It's good, man. I'm doing all right. So how? So right. the house that you're staying in has a jacuzzi on the deck, doesn't it? Dude, that is so dope. I'm just sure saying. Does. Did you visit it's it? Like fucking... Oh yeah, I was just in there like two hours ago. That's yeah, awesome, man. dude. That's With awesome. Nice, like, beautiful view of uh, Pikes Peak, right, right in the backyard. So the, the so you can see the mountain from the jacuzzi. Fuck yes, you can. Oh, that's awesome. That's Colorado right there, right? right? Like big old pines there, and the yeah. mountains in the back. Um, uh, the other day, we went to this place called um, Garden of the Gods, mm-hmm. and we're walking on the trail, and like I swear to God, like 20 elk jumped right in front of us, like one right after the other, like it was a herd of elk. What? Jumped. I mean, it wasn't like right in front of us, but it was pretty fucking close. That's the first time I've ever seen one of those things. No you kidding. Know, like, That's awesome. So yeah. what do you what have you been doing? Like, Have you been taking like nature trails every day? 
Um, yeah, we've, we've done our fair share of outside stuff. Yesterday we went to this cave. Um, I forget what it's called, but it was way up high. Like to get to the cave, we had to like drive up to the top of the mountain, like just doing circles around the mountain. Oh, that's awesome, very... dude. Sadly, Dave, we can't, for some reason, turn on video for you. Must be where huh. you're at. I don't know. It's, it's fucking Zuckerberg, man. Yeah, man He's he just, fucking with us. He just won't uh, let us. You know, it's these internet service providers in Colorado. They're all stoned out of their gourds. I'll say we're uh, we're giving <laughs> you the virtual camera and everything, and it's just nothing Damn, there. How about that? So, That's thanks, Zucks. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you just gotta take the L's, man. You know, you know what I mean? roll with it. Do you guys have any guests tonight? No, just uh, just the dynamic duel. Yeah, man, just the OG team. Very nice. So Very did nice. you did you take our uh, our last guest's uh, suggestions? Did you take Jason's suggestions into account? And what did you get out there, Dave? You found anything you like? Uh, yeah, I found lots of stuff I like. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, mainly just got wax this time around. Oh. Yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. I like, I like the wax now. It's nice. It is, man. It's so convenient. and It is convenient. But we've been hitting the pre-rolls. We've been buying pre-rolls. That's cool. Uh, some edibles, like some gummies. Um, Those are good for sleep. Are the kids having a good time? Oh, yeah. They love it. The funny thing about this is that when I asked them what their favorite part about this trip, you know, you would think it would be, you know, like one of the places that we went to out in nature or something, but hot tub hell yes the hot tub is always the, the, the right. sweet spot dude yeah. the thing about the hot tub is like it's great getting in but it sucks getting out man no, it's always man. cold oh yeah no. oh well maybe there yeah what's the weather like there probably about the same as you guys right okay. now like probably upper 30s maybe something like that um the first two or three days we were here it was perfect man it was like you know high in the mid 60s um you know, still warm enough at night that we could hang out on the back porch and shit. Right. We got a little fire. We got a little fire pit out here that we that we can sit around and yeah, man, this place is dope. It's, yeah. it's pretty awesome. It's a big log cabin. Well, you guys saw it. I will say I saw that video that you sent uh, you sent us earlier. It was so you went around. There's this nice little porch. It comes up. There's this kick ass fucking hot tub. Um, yeah. And then, dude, when you like you, you did a big panoramic, and when you went out, it was like, here's Dave, here's his house, and then there's the mountains. You yeah. literally look like a bush light can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think you mean Coors Light, Scott. Uh, whatever, you know, I'm not really up on my uh, my Hooge beer. Well, you know, cool Coors Light light. That's oh, that comes from the mountains of Golden that's right. Colorado. Golden Colorado. Yeah, yeah I forgot. Sorry. Yeah. I don't yeah, well a, as and as you can tell I don't have an exclusive deal with beer companies. So Not yet, but we're working our way up there, buddy. Not with shit like that we're not, man. <laughs> 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 Come okay. to the golden corrals of Bush. I don't know what the hell. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, so man. besides all the wax, what else did you uh did you do anything Jason suggested? I know he was talking about uh, there was some kind of crystals or something like sugar. I think he said. Um, yeah, so I got a little bit of that, that stuff. I got some stuff that's called um, it's called Live Diamonds. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. That's the yeah. brand he was talking about. Nice. Yeah, so I got a little bit of that. Um, you know, by the time this is on the air, I can go ahead and say, you know, maybe possibly some of it might accidentally end up in Missouri. Nah, you know? man, there ain't going to be none of that. It's all going to be used right there. Every bit well, of it. I'll be honest, boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a lot of weed. We got a lot of weed. To, we got to smoke tonight. Yep, we you sure do. Yeah. You sure do. What your bitches want from That's a all right, man. It's all we medical lots, for you. Lots and lots of pre rolls, man. Oh <laughs> man, there's gonna be a lot of laid out motherfuckers. Yeah, uh, dude. This has been this has been an awesome trip. And yes, I pretty much have been high the entire time I've been here. Oh, that's all right. You but can it's vacation, function. man. It's right. so beautiful out here. Like cannabis and um and the mountains go so good together man well dude there's like a huge cannabis tourism going on out there like you can get a uh i saw the other day instead of a a bed and breakfast you can get a wake and bake oh yeah yeah right yep like you wake up and there's a whole bar like holy shit yep 
Yeah, and I mean, there's all kinds of like bars and shit that that you know you can go and smoke at. I haven't done any of that. I haven't done like any of the real tourism shit. I, I just feel, go to the dispensary. I feel like that's the closest to Amsterdam I'm ever going to get. Probably so. Probably me too. You know. Um, and I actually to, know someone in Amsterdam. Do you? That's I do. It's cool. a good person to know. Yeah, she used yeah. to play professional base or a uh, basketball. Yeah, is that why she ended up in Amsterdam? Yep. She uh, cool. could have went for the uh, WNBA, but instead went to uh, play in uh, the European League. Uh-huh. Damn, cool. dude. And she she's, uh, she, just, she just retired a couple of years ago. Yeah, she's I now coaching. She she's coaching money. her old team now. Damn. Yeah. That's pretty fucking cool. That is pretty awesome. Yeah. Sports. That's what sports Sports. Sports, sports, sports. sports, sports, sports. sports. I am excited that the that uh, the Cardinals signed Albert Pujols for for one one season. I am excited yeah. about so, that. Boys. So here's my thing, Dave. With, with all that, I think it's a great move by the Cardinals because it's nostalgic. Yeah. Yep. But yep. also, Albert, all he needs is 22 home runs to get into the 700 club. Is that what it is? I knew it was something. 700, dude. He would surpass A yeah. Rod. He would. He would. So like A Rod's. Yeah. Com- we all know like A Rod's a complete douchebag. And if he does yes. that, I'm gonna say it now, boys. He'll he'll go ahead and retire. And he'll yeah, retire. Th- he'll retire a Cardinal. Is, but yeah, honestly, if, yeah. so think about this. Yeah. Pujols only needs 22 to go into 700. Right? It's a yeah. very it's a very very high elite group that, of people that boy, have hit 700 number. home runs. Right? Yeah. How gets, many? How many is it, uh, Maddie? What like six maybe? Uh, Six people. Uh got there's got. There's. Got Aaron, I'm sure there's got more there, than. There's that. got no. There's got to be like a handful. Yeah, I'm sure there's more than that. Um, you got Aaron. You got Aaron. You got Ruth. You got Bonds. There's three. Yeah. I can't uh, remember the other. I'm not sure who else Did is. Did Sammy in it? or Mark McGuire do anything like that? No, they never got up that. No, high no. For, so, but so here, here's high. the thing. Here's my situation A-Rod. in St. Louis. After you know, a lot of people were pissed at pool holes for leaving. And yeah. you know what, man? When you, you know. when you dominate the sport, like he was so the thing with him was he was the best player mm-hmm. in a ten year span that he had the best career of any player in a ten year span in the history in the history of the league. Mm-hmm. In a span yeah, of ten years, he had the best numbers of anybody. Oh yeah, that, that can he, easily be said. Here's the thing, man. The Cardinals were I feel like the Cardinals were going in a different direction anyway. Pujols went and got his money. He got paid for his success. There is nothing wrong with that. Now, no. here's the thing. I know a lot of people were pissed at him, but if he were to hit his if he hit seven, his 700th home run this season, later in August or early September, late maybe late September, and he he does that as a cardinal, yeah. that's a huge you can finally take the Band-Aid off that. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, Cardinal absolutely. fans be like, this is a significant time in, in Cardinal's history. Because they know it, too. A, a lot of people yeah. are doubting that he can hit 22 this year. But I think if anyone if anyone was ever determined to get the 700 in a Cardinal's uniform, he can do it. it's Albert yeah. Pujols. I agree, man. And I, I, think, you, I think you it's nailed it healthy. right there. It's in a Cardinal uniform. Because he yeah. wants to do you know, Look, he understands that there was a lot of... You know, half right. of Cardinal Nation just didn't like sure. him anymore for what he did to leave. But here's this, yeah. here's the thing, man. They would have never had any of that success without him. For sure, the two. The he two was a main. He was the, he was a main component in the chemistry of that team for ten years. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Without that, they would have never won any of those World Series, man. They would have never won any of that shit. And they get mad. You know, people just got to get over it. People in Philly get mad all the time. All the time. I think, I, I it's a sport. Cardinals just fans, get over it, man. I Look, yeah. I, when the expectation. I think most Cardinals fans are over it. Like, you know, because I you remember, so. like, he, he came back to Bush Stadium a couple years ago. Or maybe yeah. that was last year I know. with the Dodgers. And got, he got a big standing ovation. Like, I think most of us are over it at this point, you know. But you finally, you know, you finally get to. He's finally back home. Finally get to do something in a Cardinals uniform that is significant. I think that's what everybody's saying. He's finally home. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad I he's agree. back in St. Louis. Like, I'm not even like a full blooded Cardinals fan. I like them because I just hope he gets like what the he majority wants. of my friends are Cardinal fans, right? And family. Sure, sure. So, like, yeah, you know what? Unless they're not playing the Phillies, I'll cheer for them. <laughs> I respect that, man. I respect and the that. Phillies, I cannot wait, dude. The Phillies can't are going to boo them, dude. The Phillies lineup is going to hit seven home run, seven hundred home runs this year. 
That's an exaggeration. I hope you're right, man. They it's look a, pretty stacked. It's, ex- it's an exaggeration, but the <laughs> Phillies are fucking stacked this season, man. Yeah, they got some. They got some bangers, man. They got some. Their whole lineup is a guys. bunch of just power dudes. Like bunch they're going to hit tons of runs, man. They're going to hit tons of. Bryce Harper is going to have a fucking career year, dude. He's so protected now in his lineup. He got MVP yep. just by being himself last year, and now yep, he's got a fucking have- lineup to do it with. Yeah, they can't just pitch around him anymore, man. Give him some flange, bro. All right, man. Here we go. Woo! Here it is. Woo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucking Phillies in the house. Bryce Harper, MVP, bitch. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a uh, Phillies Cardinals NLCS this year. That would be pretty dope. Bryce Harper will take mm. out Albert Pujols for his last game Why? by kicking him in his Achilles. Why? Okay, boys. I'm sure, I am 100% sure you guys have already covered this topic in an earlier segment. But oh, yeah. God, God damn, wasn't that awesome, Will Smith slapping Chris uh, Harper? I don't, okay, so, I, dude, okay. we have not covered that, actually. Okay. You Dave, haven't talked about that? No, no, not yet. I'm glad you brought it up. I am glad you brought oh, it up. man, I'm shocked. But honestly, like, uh, so at first I thought Will Smith was in the right. Thought it was a bit. But then I read more about it, and then I kept watching, and I'm like, you know what? Chris Rock made a lame joke. And that dude could have just manned up and said something, so, said something to him, totally afterwards. After. See, that's why I don't think do it's, it in the moment, man. Don't this bitch has been slap this guy. That's been coming for a while. But here's the thing: Will Smith is twice the size of Chris Rock. He's not a big dude, Chris Rock. Neither so you, Will Smith. you Smith. know that you're physically, you're physically able to dominate this guy on national television, and yeah. he's a comedian. He's like Chris Rock has. He has mad composure, man. After that, he finished out that whole segment. Right. He gave that award away. He looked like more of a man than fucking Will Smith did in that situation, walking away from it. That's that was the first time I've ever seen Will Smith like look. He's a fucking mad. He did look crazy, dude. Right? It's okay for Jada to get like you know a joke about like her hair loss, but you know if someone talked about her fucking other dudes in front of they Will, they did talk about that. That then night. you know what. It'll, <laughs> He, yeah, they did talk well, about that that night. Here's the part. Here's the part that was unusual about it to me was right after Chris Rock told the joke, they cut over to Will and Jada, and Will was laughing, and right. then you could see, and then you could it was see Jada like delay, like, yeah. roll her eyes, mm-hmm. and I so I feel like. I feel like he went up there because Jada gave him the stink eye. But dude, like there's said, new footage. There's new footage this. where she said something about it but to there, him. But like when Will's walking oh. back, to, right after he just got done bitch slapping Chris Rock, he was walking back to his seat, and there's footage of her like just laughing. Like that's not wow, fucking. I haven't seen that. You just hu- humiliated one of the fucking legendary fucking uh, comedians legendary of our generation. Comedian. Yeah. Like, that's not cool, dude. The dude was doing his bit. But I don't think that's he what was they doing... were seeing. I think that, the, I mean, every fucking award show Chris Rock has been on, man, he's made it a point to single out Jada Pinkett. Has he? You know, he has. Like, the last time he did it, he said something about her. I don't remember what it was. Something about her something. And Yeah, like, I heard it, they had a history. Right. They have a history. This is not like, oh, hey, you know, and I just, like, lost my mind. This is, like, years in the fucking making. Like, Chris Rock yeah. always picks on Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah, but I, I, why I, that is. I yeah, it, but I think like it's just one of his things. Honestly, you know? though, he probably I, yeah. knew her back in the day, right? But I, uh, yeah. I also like uh, you have to look at the other side, though. You have to keep your shit together, man. right? You can't just be assaulting somebody on fucking stage. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. And he well, even and, said that too after he <laughs> fucking did it. You know, and yeah, everyone clapped. Like, Good job, Will. Let's fucking give him an applause. Let's go, baby. Let's build his confidence back up, Will Smith. That did feel yeah. weird, right? Mm. I'm glad I didn't watch any of the Oscars yeah, other I didn't than either. that. Part. I didn't watch any of it. Like Nichols sent me a the message. Clip I watched. Nichols sent me the fucking the Twitter thing. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Right. So I followed the link and it led me onto Twitter and I'm like, oh my God, this shit. So the Australian Ugh. feed was they never, unedited. Yeah, they, 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 they never dropped out. They never dropped out. They got the com- I saw that one too. The complete program feed, man. They got Will yelling. <laughs> you saw, keep my wife's this, name. Yeah, that, that was piece, wild. The, uh, the Japanese feed was the same because that was what I saw. Man. Honestly, man. Yeah, they probably couldn't hit the delay Jesus. fast enough in those situations. Yeah. But, you, you know, know, Chris Rock was just doing his thing, man. And I well, get that and the, Jada Pinkett and all that. You know, stuff, and that may, that that may have been in like their writer or something too. Like, hey, we ask that you please don't make a joke about this. She's right. got a sensitive issue. And he didn't know it and just off the cuff did it. Yeah. You know, I could see that happening. 
I'm like, what? And the I do get it. And I do get it. I do. I do get their perspective as far as like it is a medical condition, and yeah. you know, like me having me having a medical condition of my own. Like I get it that that you know it's not necessarily cool to make a joke about some a condition that somebody probably doesn't have any control right you know yeah. over the fact that they have mm. it so i so i get that but you, you know, know you, do, if you're going to be I, in I that situation it, I, I do think it was like a little a bit of a low blow right. now you know mm. did it warrant what will smith did probably not um do you see what judd at least, what judd apatow said that will smith could have went out there and killed him for sure please come on now just shut up. He just smacked him in the face. If he wanted to go out there and knock him down, it would have been a closed fist. Oh, wait. But wait, it would have been different. He would have got, he would have got charged, man. He would have got charged for assault. He could still have gotten so, charged with assault. Chris Rock didn't press any charges. Right. So Judd Apatow actually came out and said that, that he could have died from that. Yeah, that, from that, that, that Chris Rock could have died from that. Oh, come on. He was on, like, oh, man. come on. What are you doing? Much. You're triggering people. It just shows me Chris Apatow is a pussy. A- Amy Schumer said she's triggered. Oh, I can't stand her. I like it. Her. Was an, it was you an do? open. It was, it was an oh. open hand slap, right? It was open hand. Yeah, it was right? open hand. I mean, we're talking yeah. like I challenge you to a duel. Tua. Yeah. I mean, it's not like he. It's not like he went up there and sucker punched the dude. No, and that's what I was getting at. You know, like I see so many, so many Facebook memes, <clears throat> and it's like, either uh, either Will Smith hits like a bitch, or uh, uh, Chris Rock's got a jaw of solid rock. For sure, man. He barely flinched for real. He recovered nicely. Will he Smith d- just slapped the shit out of me. He's like, wow, wow. That's what he said. Yeah. Like, I just can't believe that just happened to me. Yeah, that's got to be don't embarrassing. Know, man. It's hard to imagine what you would do in a situation like that because none of us can even imagine being in a scenario like that. I mean, right? How, how many opportunities do you get to present at the Oscars and then some shit like that happens? Fuck, I don't know, man. None. No shit. <clears throat> but for Chris Rock, it's like his third or fourth time. Dave, that's why you're here, man. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. The Oscar. Well, I'm glad I could remind you guys that's that was my favorite TV moment of 2022 thus far. Thus far. Yeah. <laughs> Even hopefully though... some more hopefully some more people will get bitch slapped before the year ends. Right could on, you imagine man. if that was Mike Tyson making fun of her? I feel like more people Mike would be like, <laughs> fuck you, motherfuckers. You wanna slap me, bitch? Mike would have fucked him up. Mike would have Don't just... forget. Don't forget, though, Will Smith did play Muhammad Ali, man. Yeah. Oh, give me a break. Come on now. <laughs> Tyson would knock his fucking head off. <laughs> We're like, yeah, man, whatever. You from Philly? No, he definitely You from Philly? Fuck that. Is that a punch? There's no question. Is that a yeah. fl- Did you slap me? I'm going to beat your ass now. I'm going to put the wife on my dick and then fuck you with her on my dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use you as the condom. The good thing she's bald already, bitch. I'm going to put my dick into oh, you and then I'm going right. to fuck you on my dick to your wife. With a condom. <laughs> like the human wife condom on your dick. <laughs> Practice that sucks, folks. What the fuck? Don't be a fool. Wrap your tool. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Iron Mike. Uh, <laughs> I went to a uh, I went to a giant arcade today. It was like in multiple. It was like five or six different buildings of of like old arcade Whoa. games. It was Dude, pretty dope. That's dope. Are you guys like in a mountain town or some shit? Yeah, we are in the God. I can never remember the name of this town, but we're we are basically um, we're just like fifteen minutes away from Colorado Springs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is so it an like abandoned that mountain- mining town? Yeah, this is uh, uh, fuck. I can't remember the name of this town, but the the dispensary that I've been going to is in this little town called uh, Manitou Springs. Oh, that's cool. All it's, right, it's this little, you know, I don't know. It's probably about the size of Jeff City. I bet. Is it like and, something out of like the Lifetime Channel movies or some? I Bunch mean, of kids not, skipping down not, the street, not like that, like, decorated for Christmas. This, there was kind of some rough characters that were hanging out around the oh, dispensary. Okay. I will right. say that. Hey, yeah. motherfucker, but what you doing? <laughs> But Shit. it's a small town, and so there's only two dispensaries in in that town. It's and the reason why we town. go to that town is because the town that we are staying in uh, is doesn't have any dispensaries. Oh, uh, I see. Boo. There's a lot of town. Yeah, I know. There it right? is. There you it suck. Is. A, you suck. You would think that would be the first thing on my list before right. I, you know, click the buy button. So then, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. For the VRBO. Right. 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 No, nah, but we're like 15 minutes away from one. That's cool. So man. you know. It's all good. That's all awesome, good. dude. How's the hiking out there? Is your wife like carried cattle multiple miles just for the fun of it? 
So her and and her other two female friends that are with us on this trip, they mm. bought um, like a week membership at some gym in Colorado Springs. So they've been going and working out in the main. Man, that's hardcore, dude. Right, that is hardcore. We should never give up. <laughs> we will never well, surrender. The, There's no the vacationing girl, from building your body even stronger. Ah, no kid. The one girl that is that came with us, she's the chick that owns the gym. Oh Studio shit. Okay. Yeah. That's that's cool. Cool. Oh, all right, that's all right. She she went. Her and her son came with us last year when we went to Colorado too. Right, right. I got that. I remember. Gotcha. That. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Dave's a freaking yeah. Colorado flyer. Hey, well, you Colorado. know, man, we had so much. We had so much fun last year. Like, yeah, I definitely would love to make this like a yearly trip for sure. Yeah, guess who loves Colorado? Who? John did that? John did. John Denver. He did. He did. John. John who? John, oh, John Denver. Denver. Rocky yeah, Mountain I, High. Yeah. I got a pretty cool T-shirt today. I almost got a T-shirt that had a UFO sucking a bear up into it. Oh, oh, that's cool, dude. But instead, I got a T-shirt that has a weed reference. So oh, look, right, I'm scattered you know. across Colorado. Yeah, yeah. And I've got I got I a got shirt from, one, from the I got a shirt from the dispensary that we've been going to too. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Man. That's awesome. Yeah. I try to always get a shirt from every dispensary I visit. <laughs> well, you like you doing the stadium tour? I'm going to need a big fucking closet, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, brother. I bet. Uh, All right, fellas. I probably, I probably, yeah, you hey, probably hey, should go. Hey, before you go, though, I need to know who, who was yeah. it in your game of Clue? Was it Colonel, Colonel, Colonel Green um, or Professor Plum? I couldn't, tell, I couldn't tell you, like, what the final, you know, answer was, but I can tell you that I definitely did not win. <laughs> um, I'm too, uh, uh, uh I'm too not in my right mind to win it. Hey, man, I got that. You know, give me some Scrabble and we'll talk. (laughs) Right on, Dave. Hey, Dave. Enjoy your trip, man. Yeah, man. Hey, have a safe journey home, brother. Yeah, man. I'll see you guys in, uh, you know, probably a few days. I think I work on Saturday. So if any of you fellas work, you probably don't work, Maddie. I do not. We do not. I'll be at a a wedding. I will be home. I'll see you. I'll see you at the very latest uh, next Thursday for episode, what, 98? 99. Tonight is 98. Yes, sir. God damn. We're right? already there, G. Yes, sir. Yes, we are. Yeah. Right? Look at us go. Yeah. Mm. All right, Dave. Have a great night, brother. See you, man. All right, man. fellas. I'll see you in, in, a, in a few days. Yes, sir. See you in a GIF. See you. All right. That's our buddy, Dave. Dave's hanging out in Colorado right now. Episode doing his thing. 98 in the books. In the books, boys. Yeah. Big I mean, ups to our Patreon patrons, the Jeff City Paranormal yeah. Society, Sir Biscuit Strength, the uh-huh. Platform, uh-huh. Chess Team Records, and mm-hmm. the don't forget sun, motherfucker. the Paranormal Sun. That's right, JT. And also, we're doing a big uh, uh, you know, push for some headsets. So help us out. Yeah. Patreon.com slash the Old 77 Podcast. Yes. See yes. y'all next week. For 99. Yeah, yeah. On the flippity flip. Peace out. Oh. Play that funky music. I was going to say, play that transcript thing. Oh, yeah. That's you. Yeah. One time, there was a play guy named time. Louis Mano. For a transcript of the old 77 podcast, write down everything the boys say. Thanks, Louis. Oh, that's so smart.